All right, welcome back, boys. Episode, what's this? 31, man. 31. Fucking hell, man. Uh, today, we have um special guest. Well, we've only got one safe boy. Yeah. There is two of them, but we have one safe boy here, man. Jezza, welcome, bro. How are we going, boys? Good, yes, man. Beautiful. Thanks for coming, Thanks brother. Thanks for coming, man. It's all right, boys. Man, this is fucking exciting, man. So, okay. So, first of all, you're from the area, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously. Okay. So uh, obviously, um, if you don't know by now, the Safe Boys also have a podcast from the area. Um, fucking funny podcast, man. A lot of bender stories and shit, drinking and shit, bro. It's fucking, it's top, top very Western Sydney. Very Aussie. You very know, you Australian know. Western Sydney type podcast, bro. So man, honestly, let's just fucking break the ice. How did this come about? Whose idea was it? You know, have you always been a talker or is this something very new to you? Um, so myself, yeah, man, I've, Probably someone that's always been into entertaining, eh? Like, as a young kid, I always wanted to crack jokes mm. to everyone. I used to fucking break dance and shit, which is a hidden talent that you can hear in episode five. <laughs> <laughs> you listen. <laughs> you got to plug yourself, man. Oh, yeah, man. of course. <laughs> we'll put the links, everything. Nah, but, um, yeah, I was always into it. Um, me and Blake met at a really fucking young age playing footy, just in and out of teams together. Like, one year we'd play, next year we wouldn't. And we just disappeared, like, for ages and reconnected at 18. And it's just always been on, like, my mind to just do it with him. Because I've, I've always had, like, I had a bit of a small TikTok career. I've always been in and out of the internet. And he's always wanted to join in. And I was just, the other day, like, the other month at the pub, we just went, fuck it, let's just do it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're at six episodes in. Mm-hmm. Almost uh, 200 listens now. So, mm-hmm. it's going all right. We're having fun. I mean, most of the most of the time, doing something is just doing it. Really, you just got to start. Like, it man. was. It was. I can't even remember how we fucking. You keep saying. I thought it was your idea. It was your time. idea. Apparently, it was, it was fucking my idea. idea. I don't remember it at all, to be honest. But the best way to do things, people, man, is to just fucking do it and fucking try it. Which is something we'll touch on a bit later because I had a couple of polls that um I did touch base. Basically, I'm very interested to see on what other people from our area are kind of interested in. Especially because, you know, we're all the same age and shit. It's just something that I'm very interested in. But we'll touch that on that um, on that kind of stuff later. So um, so was it your, your idea, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I had a shot at podcast before, but it just fucking sucked, eh? It what, was, by yourself? Yeah, yeah, I tried to get like two different mates on it each time. Yeah. Running off one mic, it just... Ah, uh, yeah. It's just a mess. The kinks, yeah. The, our first podcast was a fail too, the first yeah, one. Yeah, didn't we work did. actually. Yeah, we, <laughs> we sat there for like two and a half hours. And when we got to the end of it, we realized we had no recording. The audio. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just sitting there with these microphones mm. talking. And it was a good episode yeah, too, it was, man. It was it was good practice, but it was gnarly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the kings of technology and shit, man, are fucking uh, fucked. Um. So you. So your. Was it always the idea to do the whole bend the thing to drink? Is that are you taking trying to purposely take an Aussie approach, or is it just coming out it's, naturally? It's, it's more. It actually was more a COVID idea to start with. Is because. Before COVID, me and Blake used to go to the pub once a week, you know, different pubs and just talk shit. Yeah. And it was like more of a reason to just meet up and not put 150 bucks each through the pokies. <laughs> <laughs> not gamble. So it was more, and it was, our first thing we said is it's got to be the least serious podcast ever. Like we're not tackling politics. We're yeah. not tackling fucking any current events. It's just, just fun. <laughs> stupid fucking shit that happens like. We talk about farts and shit, bro. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's it's just the most piss take ever. So I, yeah. I like that about you guys the the beer review. Like you guys, every episode you start a different beer, which I think is a fucking good idea. Like, mm. and then do you just fucking? So I noticed on your show that everything you kind of have a plan, a routine that you stick to. So you yeah, have yeah. the segments. It's like a radio show, mm. which I really like about your show. But did you like? Did you plan this out before you wanted to start doing the podcast? Did you know what kind of like? Because then I saw that you got the the sponsor from the yeah, Bender yeah, King. Yeah. Did that was that all planned from the start, or did not, that come not after? The, not the Bender bit. Mm. That was um. That was actually fucking through TikTok. Uh, they found a video from two years ago and go, "Oh, we're gonna host a Bender challenge if you want to be in it." And then it was more like an exposure deal. And I'm like, "Dude, I haven't got a follower in fucking two years." I'm not going to be any exposure. But, yeah, no, I, I hit them up because I was like, look, I'm starting the pod and actually need exposure. Mm. And they're like, yeah, yeah, well, what, what do you want to do? And they're like, well, we'll give you a code. And, and I said, well, we'll give you a, a segment. 
yeah. and they pick out a story each week and wow. we read it out and just review it. Yeah. That, I think that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. So hold on. So what the fuck are they? Clothes brand? They're clothing, clothing brand, yeah. Wow. They but that's they cool. also do all like the, the bender gadgets and shit. So like your yeah, snorkels and all oh, that. Oh, what the fuck? They, um, hey, yeah. man, hit us up, motherfuckers. <laughs> bro, that shit's <laughs> they awesome, do, They man. do like the beer syringe thing, like, you know, when you push yeah. it against the wall. They, oh, um, shit. They released a fucking sniffy, sniffy tool thing. That was a shovel and uh, <laughs> 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 So man, everything you, you need on your bender. Wow. Yeah, the, what the, that sounds like our kind of sponsor, man. What yeah, the I followed them and they hit me up today actually saying if I wanted a code into the fucking what the yeah. what? stuff. I was like, because they put a poll on Instagram yeah. about jumpers oh. or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, Jordan and Josh, man, they're fucking yeah. top blokes, bro. Fuck they're they're yeah. very helpful with everything, eh? Wow, man, we should. That's something we should look into, man. That's great. Yeah, we can fuck. start hitting people. We should try, you know, get yeah, yeah, because we've been out of the minute. Said, it's bro. about putting yourself out there, bro. Look, I, just, I won't, I won't lie. Majority of the time, I am just deleting messages and shit because, like. Because because of the music, I'm so used to like, like I, sometimes I post on my Instagram stories. I'll open my um my music because e- I've got two emails. Obviously, you got your personal, and then I've got my business one. I I check my business one like once a week, and a lot of the time it's like, you Dog know, shit. D- people going, "Hey man, I work for a record label." Fucking blah 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 blah. Yeah, and I, I, I'm just bots. so used to just delete, 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 delete. So a lot of I just kind of gave up. Not really gave up on reaching out. I never really got into it because. I just thought everything was a bot. Like yeah. I thought everyone and everything was basically just a scam or a bot. But if we did reach out, we'd probably yeah. we have yeah. to reach out. Yeah. Just tell the difference, but because we've had two decent like normal people approaches, we had heaps of fucking bots, man. We get people from California, yeah. and that's, I'm like, man, have you heard some of the things we've said in the podcast? Are you sure you want to sponsor a bunch of dickheads? But no, like we had um we had guilty apparel like um. Got us to buy a couple shirts. Blake thought it was a sponsor, so he was like, oh, fuck you, I'm jumping straight on. But yeah, they sent us a voice memo and shit like that. He's a great dude, man. He's, he's uh, guilty he's apparel. Good. Yeah. Mad well, close. Because um, I don't know if you know this, but when we met uh, a couple years ago, um, you, I i don't know how we found it, but he had a following on TikTok. You were doing your thing on TikTok. Yeah, you had yeah. about At the time, you had about 10,000 followers. Nah, back then, I would have had fucking four or five, bro. Really? Yeah. I, I could have sworn. No, cause cause what I, were you doing on TikTok? Just the same shit I'm doing on my podcast, bro. Just tradie memes and stuff. And oh, yeah? Like funny videos. Just yeah. taking the piss out. But I was actually doing common, like, like current, event, current affairs yeah. and shit. Yeah, okay. And wow. they were getting traction. And I remember when we dropped Supervillain, mm. he would use, he was using the sound of Bowser to... Oh, yeah. I made, what? I, made to, of, I made a joke out of one of them. It was kind of shit, but... <laughs> but, wow. you know, he was, you know... Trying to fight, get the best out of it. But, yeah, even just my small videos, I was chucking these um, tracks onto it and stuff. So, what happened? You said you haven't got a follow in a couple... Like, what, you just stopped, gave up on it, or what's it's, going on? It's just, it's just so toxic, eh? It's just, like, mm. it, it's such a rat race, and it's not like a YouTube... Fucking fame or anything like that. You're, you're 15 seconds. It's very different, yeah, eh? You got it. Very different. And the hardest thing is, you see it so much with influencers now. They don't know that it's 15 seconds on TikTok, and you see them trying to like hold on to it. Like you got that magpie man and all that shit. Mm. They were funny in 2014, mm. and they're walking around going, "Do you know who I am?" Yeah, <laughs> bro, go back to your fucking 7-Eleven job, bro. <laughs> yeah, like it's so quick, eh? Yeah. Like you just get a, you gotta get yeah. over it. Yeah, that's all right. Mean, that's the weird thing, man. But I mean, it's. It's crazy though because this influencer thing is like literally a thing. I was talking to my Mrs. Chloe literally yesterday. There's this girl that we know, all right? I won't mention the name for whatever, but she's like kind of from the area. Like I've seen her in Penrith and stuff like that. And but for the past four or five months, she's been in the US, traveling, getting paid to upload photos in skimpy clothes. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and and but that, and then I was talking. Girls this, have it easy, man. I was talk, I was talk, oh, no, no, but, but I'm telling this bitch is like living it up, bro. Yeah, yeah. But it, limos it's and so shit fun, like that. Funny, like it is right. It is, it is easier for them. But the thing 100%. is, you would never remember a fucking girl influencer's name Absolutely. because they all produce the same content. But you're it, gonna go like, oh yeah, I like Shooter Williams mm. and shit like that. Yeah, it's, that's very it's true. It's just weird. It's just weird because like it's a thing. And then Chloe was saying that there's literally a company that like th- it's that's their company. They sponsor oh. influencers to travel and just take photos in their clothes. Most of them so, are like, like very scammy, but mm. like they they go, yeah, oh yeah, like, we're gonna ship you around, and yeah, get all the profits. But you only get it's like a royalty thing, man. You only get the ten percent royalties. Clicks, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, your account may be earning fucking. 
Ten thousand bucks a month. I'll, and I'll take a trip to Vegas any day, bro. Right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know? it's, it's it's like oh. celebrity stuff too. They they're on a schedule, eh? They got to mm. they got to be at a certain place, take a photo, mm. and move on. They're not actually doing like everything holiday, they want to yeah. do. Yeah, true that. Yeah, true that. Because at the end of the day, that. it's a business. For it's them. a job. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, fuck, it's just it's just fucking crazy. Wow. So okay, you had a little TikTok thing going. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Small, yeah. Okay. So you so you, I guess you, you could easily say you've always been kind of a creative person. Oh yeah. Hundred like percent. All right. 100%. Well. Okay. So that's an well. That's one of my polls that I ask. I'm, I'm always asking people like, what are your side hobbies? What are you doing? So was that considered one of your side hobbies? Is working on the TikToks and doing yeah, shit or yeah, oh, a hobby as in I enjoyed it. Yeah. Not as anything like a... Not like a job. I didn't more, see it as like a, a way out or... You're, always, just ha- you're just having a laugh. Yeah, I was yeah. having fun. I enjoy making content. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, Would you cool. keep doing it? Would you go back to it, you reckon? Oh, uh, on a different platform, maybe. Not on TikTok, for Really? Just, what about Reels on Instagram? <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Slightly same better. Shit. Yeah, yeah, same yeah, shit. I mean, just two months delay. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and the good thing about the podcast, well, the main reason we film ourselves is for Instagram, TikTok. We cut the videos up, the interesting yep. bits. Yeah. I well, love doing fuckers, that. I fucking hate it. Every time we, we upload it. an episode, I sit down, I watch the whole thing, all the bits, I cut yeah. it up. you you got to cut it into the bloody yeah. format yeah. and then you just post it and it works, man. It gets a lot of like new people interested. Yeah, traction and stuff, yeah. It's a, it's a bit of a weird thing, but like TikTok's so toxic. But it's one of the most powerful tools that Oh, 100%. Have. And you're silly not to be on it, but then it's also not guaranteed to fucking yeah. work for you. Because it's so Absolutely. saturated. Like you, you, you've known these, you fucking... How many videos you put out, and how many have actually caught traction? Oh, f- hardly any. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like I, yeah absolutely. I, I think I only have like... Oh, I think I put out about 300 videos. I only have about 15 that got over 5,000 views. Wow. With, the, the, the you, you're putting out some and they're like, fuck you. You think it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Next and thing you've got a hundred views. Yeah. And it's like, you're at the mercy nothing. of the algorithms. And the thing is, if we didn't already have the content, it'd be a different story. But because it's, we're, I'm just repurposing the content we already have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll cut up my raps. I'll cut up this. And then that's it. Like I don't post original stuff like you were doing. Yeah, I don't yeah. think of a video yeah. idea and post it. So, you know, it'd be a lot different if I had to fucking that, do that. That's all. So hard is, too. The funny thing is, but none of my videos were like, so my podcast is all planned out and everything, but my videos weren't that. They were gone spark. They were spark moments. Like yeah. one of my biggest ones is I was joking about how chicks in P platers in Suzuki Swifts mm. and how like you go to get a perv on them and it's a fucking Indian. <laughs> and it was literally because it happened to me on the way home, yeah. pulled up and I went, put the phone there, yeah. did it. And I ended up getting like fucking 50,000 views, yeah, fucking wow. 10,000 likes. It's just, yeah, it, the the content I was making was just so spur of the moment because if you think about it, you put too much heart into it. And it's and not funny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. And it's bound to fail. Yeah, wow, man. The algorithms are fucked these days, bro. <laughs> Seriously, 100%, 100%. man. It's crazy. But not just that too. It's because it's it's a hard market because it's so saturated, bro. Oh, yeah. Every oh, yeah. second motherfucker is filming t- TikToks in the street, people are fucking shaking their booties while they're shopping and shit, bro. It's fucking it's the like, world we're going to, man. And it's and crazy. It, a couple of years ago, it wasn't like that. Like, you know, no one wanted to make content. Well, now everyone's doing when it. When we met, I, so I got this freestyle video on my phone somewhere of Dill rapping. And he actually did all right. <laughs> but I said to him, I said, can I post on my TikTok? And he even looked at me going, what the fuck's TikTok? What? Like, this, this is like 2018. Like before, this is when pretty much when it just changed Ooh, over to Musical.ly. Yeah. And if you had 5,000 followers, it was kind of a big deal. It was massive, yeah. yeah. So I told what? him, that's what the fuck. And that's when I got him onto it. I said, yeah. man, you've you, Oh, he got me not, on. He put me on TikTok. I said, that's you're right. silly not to be onto it because you got to get on now before it kicks off. I forgot about that. He told me about TikTok first what? and got me into it. I completely forgot wow. about that. Wow. Yeah. I was telling him how to post his videos and like, you got to, you got to like make the video to that 15 second format wow. you, you can't be like it's not a youtube you can't yeah. stretch out you just gotta my first video was that freestyle i put the first video posted on tiktok was the filming of that freestyle yeah wow man that's crazy bro that's like some I got, that's I an og that. story bro yeah, what yeah, man, you, you were tiktok king in, in oh. those days bro yeah he was yeah he was early bird man man G- jesus christ so um so you know the safe boys um podcast what safe boys where, where'd that come from so we touched on it. I mean, we touched on it twice now. In the but, first um, episode, the first step. Yeah. But it's um. So was it 2019 mm-hmm. that the big fires happened? I think so. Yeah. So I was stuck down in um 
down near Milton with my missus. We yeah. drove down for New Year's Eve yeah. pretty much as soon as we got to a holiday house. The next time I ever goes, oh, yeah, the highway's shut. Because of the fires. Yeah, because of the fires. Because like, she was in Picton, man. Picton was already getting pumped. So we're like, man, it's not that bad compared to here. Get down there and pretty much we took the fire with us. <laughs> so my birthday is on the 4th and um, I had a pub crawl planned for it. And um, we got to the second and we're trying to get out. And um, I just messaged Blake. I'll put it on Facebook saying, sorry, boys. It's not on this year. I don't think I'm gonna even going to be there. And then, wow. the, then the third, bro, um, we lined up at 6 o'clock in the morning. The highway patrol let us out when everyone else was at the fire meeting. So we weren't supposed to get out. And we got out, got halfway down the road, got the Sussex Inlet. I called up Blake and said, cunt, it's fucking back on. <laughs> it's, it's fucking yeah. tell the boys, man, I'm driving. I've probably got two hours ahead of me. It's fucking on. Yeah. And he's like, fuck yeah, you're a safe boy. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, we're the fucking safe boys. So we walked around Penrith from yeah. Top Pub all the way down the Panthers, going safe boys. Yeah. We're sitting there because we've got a hand symbol. Yeah. And we're sitting there and I'm like, we need a hand gesture. And he goes, what's the most fucking awkward thing you can do? And I thought, your ring finger and your rude finger together because it feels fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking around doing that the whole way around Penrith. <laughs> You check, you check all the photos, it man. It does feel all, fucking weird, eh? It feels Fuck stupid, it. eh? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> fucking oath. The same that's a great, like, that's that, a great name too yeah. for the podcast. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, um, uh, how, how often are you um, sort of thinking? Because you were saying that your uh, podcast is a bit more structured, kind of like a radio show. Um, how often are you thinking of, ideas for that or do you sort of kind of sit down and just go bang on the fly all right we'll do this this and this or is it kind of like all week like while you're working uh, kind of think you're like all right yeah, this friday we're gonna fucking bang like, well yeah, yeah we we record every tuesday and yeah. um usually throughout the week like it makes it easier that the bendy kings are jumped on board because they give us a, a segment each week so we don't have to put any thought into that so we roughly think about two two points throughout the whole week and it's the same thing in like the tiktok so we think of something weird or Something quick, and it's a spur of the moment thing. Like, it's like my last episode. I was talking about things you do that you know everyone does, but you're never going to admit it to someone because it's fucking embarrassing. So you know when you're driving past someone and they let you in, you wave, and then your brain goes, "That looked fucking weird." So you wave to yourself in the car, and you're <laughs> like, practicing out of way. You're, like, you're like, "Fuck!" If someone's looking at me, man, they're gonna think I'm in a loony bin. <laughs> See, I usually just stick my whole arm out the window and give him a shaka. I just like, like yeah, I just yeah, do some, that. But sometimes I don't know. Like, it's just because my brain thinks yeah, too much. Yeah, I just yeah, go, "Fuck that was weird." Yeah. That looks stupid, bro. What are you doing? I was um, I was laughing at your last episode, the the Bender story, the guy trying oh. to get inside. So <laughs> these, so these are random people yeah. you've never met. The yeah, Bender Kings 100%. give you the, that's awesome, man. They, that's they so put up cool. a poll each week and they message in. Um, when we get more audience and stuff, there'll be themes and stuff. The hardest thing was when we started. Everyone thought it was about how many caps they could drop. Yeah. And it's like, man, I don't want to hear about that shit. Like, I want to hear about you fucking yourself up through a fence or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, like, yeah. Something story. funny, like something that happened on the bender, yeah. not necessarily how much drugs who, you who were eating. Who cares about your K-hole, yeah. bro? Yeah. Tell me about how you fucking got 20 stitches in your arm from a bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, fuck, I, you want to hear a fucking funny story, man? We've touched on this before, bro, on episode, I think, three of Firecast. Uh, we weren't on a bender, but we had a bender that night. <laughs> so the morning, the Friday, finished work or whenever it was, Saturday, and it was me... Jai, Hendo, and my, one of my best mates, Brad. <laughs> and we thought it'd be a mad idea, you know, as you do, to just go have a few drinks on the roof. On my, mate, <laughs> my mate Hendo's roof. So we're up there, we got our beer bottles and shit. This is before we're drinking cans too, even more dangerous beer bottle. And then we go, fuck, wouldn't it be funny if we brought the bike up here? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> and just go, you know, do laps, <laughs> do laps of the roof on the bike. <laughs> so we're like, yeah, fuck it. Then my mate Jai grabs the bike, we put it up, whatever. And then... um. And, and downstairs on, on shuffle on my iPod, I had this fucking dirty dubstep song playing. Like it was one of those songs that's like got the weird screeches. And it's basically a song you don't listen to. It just comes on shuffle by yeah, accident. Yeah, yeah. And then someone goes, fuck, change the song, change the song. One of those songs like, Wee! full dirty. That starts playing. Brad's riding this fucking bicycle with his little beer can and his, and his little beer bottle. <laughs> And he, he starts going too too fast and he can't <laughs> he can't put the brakes on and we're, we're just watching him going what the fuck is this guy doing right and he's got the tiled roof and then it went into the backyard a um 
kind of like asbestos type roof kind of thing, but it oh, wasn't yeah, asbestos. Yeah. It was like that tin shit. So oh, it was yeah, yeah. tiles and then the tins into the backyard, the tin roof. He's fucking riding, riding, riding down the tiles, hits the tin roof and goes flying over the handlebars and fucking falls through the roof, right? <laughs> Still to this day, there's a hole in that roof, right? And then I just instantly, we all just start laughing our heads off. He could have fucking died, right? We're laughing at, <laughs> we're laughing our heads off. And then you fucking look through the hole and he's wedged between a barbecue and a lawnmower. <laughs> Broke his arm and everything. That's there's a, gold. There's a photo, awesome. and then there's a photo at that the bender that night, the, the next night, and he's in a cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking bender it's, story, right it's there, a mad bro. Story, but I'm a little bit fucking deva. He didn't give it into the Bender Kings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now what? You know what? I'm gonna fucking say it, so then you can talk on the bed on the safe boys, bro. 100%. That's it. You know what I mean? But yeah, fuck, bro. Yeah, fucking benders. But anyway, so I thought I'd quickly check this. Um, thing because if it's still okay, no. So how do I do this archive shit, boys? Go to click, go on your page, click the three dots up there. Go to archive. Archive. Yeah, I got some okay. of those too. Like, poll. Just because I had a lot of questions regarding this. I, th- I think it's pretty cool how you used to do your poll and stuff. Like I've been trying to do it, and fuck the interact interactions that you get. Heat's better than us, man. No, it wasn't. Nah, it nah, wasn't nah, at first. We, we've got nah. like, so we've got some of my brother's mates, the young, and they, the same thing, they pop up. Something like, oh, what's the best drink you have? Oh, James's mum puss, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bro, make, it, make, make a joke about your mate, James, yeah. not his mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to fucking rip his mum. No, nah, well, this is something I always said is that I feel like it wasn't, well, he come up with it, because I used to always say like, um, you know, ask me a question or what's your opinion on this and have the little text box yeah and no one would reply because every cunt's a lazy cunt but then this smart cunt dumbed it down and goes look if you just do a poll people love answering those someone's gonna <laughs> everyone's everyone's gonna yeah. click yes or no you gotta, you gotta try leave it to one word answers yeah or something like that. yeah so then when i started doing that i've been getting a bit more traction but i still i feel like on my page no one fucking gives a shit yeah. this guy gets a bit more traction yeah he does he does but um so the first one I asked was, uh, do you wish you applied yourself a little more? Um, 80% said yes. Uh, 8% said no. And 12% said happy how I am. Now, I wish I could uh, look at... Oh, I can see it, the, the results. You can oh, still see it. Yeah, beautiful. So, wow, yeah, 20 votes for yes, two for no, and three votes for happy how I am. Now, this this is all... I uh, ask all these questions in tune with the whole kind of like starting a business do like you got the podcast or you got the podcast and the music kind of just i like seeing people especially from the area who are doing shit like yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Y- y- you know what i mean it's just fucking it just makes me so happy because like especially being from the west like we're just we've all our whole lives we're always just like ah, the west is there's like yeah. nothing there they're all just junkies they're all just fucking you know abos punching on the train stations and shit but like when cunts are doing shit man, I, I fucking love that shit man so um um yeah okay so 80 percent. okay um and then i said uh, as a young person do you wish you had more of a hobby side hustle business idea 74 percent for yes nine percent for no and 17 percent for happy just working than chilling in the arvos interesting that's something we always talk about too about the people you know who just come home from work and yeah. do fuck all you just sit on your couch I and mean, jack off if and you're like, happy doing that fair enough yeah but like it's not for me man no, no, it's <laughs> I, I just because probably I'm a bit <clears throat> motivated with stuff. I find that impossible to do. Hey, hundred percent. Yeah, so you bored. get too many ideas. I'm always thinking know. about something, bro. I'm mm. always got something on my brain, like something cool I could be doing. Something. I don't know how people can like. I can shut off, and I shut off when I'm playing fucking computer or something like that. But other than that, man, I'm thinking nonstop and always thinking like the fucking, next I'm thing. I'm thinking podcast wise. I'm thinking work wise. Like, I don't know how people just switch off. <laughs> They come home from work, just sit down, watch TV. <laughs> like, fuck. It's, yeah. Too many ideas, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, crazy. There is a, a few votes for happy just working than chilling in the Arvos, man. Fuck Great. That, I mean, if, hey, if... You do, you, eh? Yeah, fair enough. If, uh, if you're happy doing it, man, then fucking go Why for it. Why change it? Why change it? The, wow. And then there's a few people that just straight up said no. But in saying that too, one of them has... this. One of these is definitely a troll because... My shout out, my mate Uncle Phil. He's fucking got a fucking massive roofing business, so that's obviously a, <laughs> like yeah. So what else has he got to think? Yeah. Of, so yeah. Shout, <laughs> shout out, shout out, FX Roofing, Uncle Phil, the funny cunt. Yeah, he said no, but that's got to be a lie because yeah, I don't know how you'd run a business if you don't want to run a business. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. 
Jesus, bro. Um, did you did you say you do some polls too? Yeah, or? I got I got some. I asked a question too, and Joey said some interesting stuff. Okay, um, so hold on, I'll just read. I was going to answer him, but I'm like, uh, oh, you're going to waste some yeah. content up here. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just read one more that's in the same like category of this kind of shit. So I said, um, what has stopped you from making a business, um, you enjoy or starting a side hustle? So I had 37 percent for just CBF, 32 percent for no guidance. 16% for wasn't really taught to pursue anything, which is, again, I can probably blame the school system for yeah, that one, a, right? It's an like institutional it, problem. That's the, like, yeah. Yeah. like ever since you, in school, not once where we sat down and gone, this is how you want to start a business. Do you want to do this? Do you want to? Well, even to it, the point of like, I've, I was a trade, like I'm a tradie mm. and I'd said at school, I want to be a tradie. I was just pushed into fucking studies classes. Mm. There's nothing about like, all right, mate, this is your avenues that you can do. This mm. is this. There's nothing else outside of. So what what, what do you do? What, I'm, a, I'm a qualified carpenter. So tradesman carpenter. Yeah, but I do, Um, I've, I've moved on from that. I do solid surface bench tops now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so. um, But, but, yeah, but in school. With the, I always wanted to be a carpenter, but it wasn't yeah. like, I'm not like a dropout, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. just do carpentry because that's what seed clints do. Yeah, you wanted to I do it. I fucking loved it. Yeah. So, yeah. That's mad. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's the same thing, bro. Schools don't push any of that. No. They, if you're not HSE, they're going, what the fuck are you yeah. even doing here? You're yeah. wasting your money. They just want you to be a worker. They don't it's, teach it's you not, to be a boss. It's supposed to be a fucking place to inspire the kids to keep going. It's like, oh, all right, mate, if you want to be a tradie, all right, well, let's let's put you in some work experience. Let's do this. Now it's just like, yeah, once you're 17, we're going to ask you to fucking go. <laughs> yeah, ask you to leave. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and, and then 16% for I just enjoy relaxing. So they, again, man. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. If, Bit of relaxation. Um, so the question I asked was, uh, I said, I just said, ask us something. I couldn't think of nothing. I just said, say something interesting, ask us a question, whatever. And, um, uh, let me see. Uh, mum says, I'm so proud of you boys. <laughs> Thanks, <Mark. laughs> Biggest fan. Yeah, fucking um, up. Joey says, uh, wait, hang on just quick. Someone actually says the longest English word is 18,980. That's cap. That's cap, bro. The, the longest English word is numino ultra microscopic silico volcanic coniosis, and I know that because um, <laughs> how many times have you read from, that? Uh, uh, I, 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 I saw it in a V source video. I think it's a fucking lung disease. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's cap, bro. Uh, Oz Collective. The longest word is not eighteen thousand letters long. No, no I got definitely I'm, not. I'm just, I'm just thinking, figuring this out here. You've stared in front of the mirror. And seeing if you could get that. Yeah, practice, yeah, practice, practice that. Is, that. Right. No, I just that. You this can't moment, just hear that yeah. go, oh yeah, that's how you say it. Numino ultra microscopic silico volcanoconiosis. How do you spell it? Fuck, it starts with a P. <laughs> <I know that>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Joey what? says... Uh, <laughs> Joey says, why do cats have barbed penises? And is that why some cats are cunts? <laughs> 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 I don't know why they have barbed what? penises, but they do. do Did they you know actually, that? No, I didn't. They not. got they got spikes on their dicks, bro. Why? Um, I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think it's got to do with something that it's like real painful for the the female. Is that why so they're always they squealing? Yeah, they, so they try to run off. So the boy, the male has to like catch it. Male engage. male cats are rapists, basically. It, 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 cats don't have sex; they have rape, man. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> why? Why what? is it made like that? That's well, fucked no, up. It's, it's, That's a question for God. It happens, eh? Like, <laughs> what's well, so that? I only just found that out. That they got barbs on their some, penises. Like, I think it's something like ducks or geese have like spiraled vaginas to stop them from being raped. But male and geese. Then male, yeah, and then the males have evolved to get a spiraled dick. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. so, geese, so that's why geese have those little weird things that are spirally hanging between their legs, yeah, bro. Was, what the fuck? Cock. Holy fuck. I thought that was just like a fucking rogue feather or something. Yeah. Like, what the <laughs> fucking hell, man? Shit. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, I think fucking echidnas have like four penis heads or some shit off the, off the dick. Echid mm. Echidnas are adorable, something though. Like that. that is cool. my new favorite mm. animal. Have you ever seen a wild one? Yes. Once I've seen it once too. I had one. I got a video on it about. It was the happiest day of my life. I met, I'm, oh, I'm telling you, the, the fucking coolest things I ever see, bro. But you understand? We're in the work truck. This is when I'm working at my old asphalt company. We're driving at. We're working at um the national park near Manly, where the uh the the navy, not the navy, the army barracks is. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
we're driving out. I was like, fuck, I'm four o'clock in the afternoon, bro. And you just see this little fucking spiky thing walking. And I was, I went, <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. I'm like, it's a fucking echidna. And I was losing my shit. And then all the old cunts in the truck were just like, shut the fuck up. Like, yeah. They did not give a fuck. And I was like, are you cunts fucked or what? I'm like, there's a fucking echidna right there, bro. Look at it. They did not give a fuck. And then I took a video of it and then I messaged my missus and I'm like, this is the happiest day of my life. She goes, <laughs> what happened? I go, I saw a wild echidna. She's like, yay. Like we're all cheering and shit. And these cunts didn't give a fuck, I bro. I had my walk onto my site when I was an apprentice, bro. Just fucking waddled on. It was the coolest thing. It just walks up to you and just, just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, the weirdest thing was, I was in like fucking Epping or something like that. Not anywhere near any bush or some shit. This thing's just in suburbia. Yeah, exactly. Just fucking waddled up to it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. So he's just learned to live in the city, bro. And he loves yeah, it. He's, he's looking, for, he's it, looking for a new life. He's coming to an apprenticeship. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing. He's got a little resume with him. He's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> well, on animals, Joey also says, if you could come back as any animal on earth, what would it be and why? Um, It'd be like an eagle. And the Probably a bird, bro. <laughs> nothing some type nothing of bird. fucking hunts an eagle and an eagle rocks everything, man. That's so true. Eagles take fucking children, bro. Yeah, some of them, <laughs> the big ones, bro. Just and most of them time they just fucking drop them once they realize what it is because they go, oh fuck, it's a human. I, I can't eat this shit. <laughs> There's not enough <laughs> meat on this shit. shit. Fuck I'd, off. I'm gonna I'd, get a sheep. I'd probably say I don't know, like an echidna or something. But like on that topic, bro, like that's like in the US, bro. There's videos on YouTube of cunts waking up to go to work, work and there's a fucking bear on their porch. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking like, like a fucking brown bear. Like the, one of the most vicious fucking animals on the planet and it's just sitting on your front porch. You're but like, that's, that's the thing. Why I wouldn't want to be one of them is because they're fucking hunted. Like, yeah, but no, by, no by one human, yeah, by humans. No, but, but you know what I mean? So yeah, like, yeah. As an eagle, fuck it. By the time you see an eagle, you're not going to be able to go to your locked up case and get your and gun. Try to shoot it, yeah, true. But he, if you see a... a a bear at your fucking front door. Mm, you're going to go kill it. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I better kill this thing or it's going to kill me. You know yeah. what I always never understood? The stereotype is right. Australia is so dangerous. We've got crazy animals, crazy animals. How many times have you seen a venomous snake or a spider in your house? But in America, I've seen that many videos of people walking outside and there's a fucking bear right there yeah. or there's a fucking mountain lion. Bro, we don't have any of that shit here. I don't know if it's because I'm fucking oblivious to anything around me. I've never seen a wild snake, bro. Me neither. Um, I don't people go, did you see that? See fucking what? Yeah. <laughs> this sticks everywhere, bro. It's a piece of bark, bro. <laughs> so I, I think America's way more dangerous. I actually honest. think I haven't seen a, sna- a wild snake. I've seen a dead wild snake. Oh, yeah, I've seen dead ones I've too. I've never seen it. Like, yeah, now that, now that I think about it, I don't think I ever have seen a wild snake, See, bro. It's either on blonde or they're fucking hectic at camouflage. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the crazy thing because I feel like America has the animals that are like got furry and they've got four legs whereas we've got the little insects but yeah, ours, the, the, the wrong spider bite force ours are fucking the wrong we're, we're gonna kill you in two seconds yeah, the wrong the wrong spider bite will fucking fuck you up yeah, but over there you could get shot like mauled bro the hollywood the hollywood the famous hollywood track it's fucking full of pumas and mountain lions there's been many many stories of people getting oh, yeah, mauled yeah. doing that that trying to go, go see the hollywood walk. To go see the Hollywood sign, they get fucking mauled by a yeah, tiger they got, on they the got way up. Massive the tiger problems there. <laughs> like fuck, bro. Yeah, uh, fuck that shit, man. Uh, would you? Would you? Uh, would you rather be intelligent and ugly or dumb and hot? Dumb and hot. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. dumb and hot. Fuck that, bro. I'm already yeah. fucking intelligent, and ugly. Fucking. <laughs> I'd no. rather pick that any day. Nah, man. If you're dumb, bro, you don't think about anything, so you're not yeah. even worried about it. You, you can get you can get very far places by being good looking. You can get everywhere by look, being incompetent, bro. That's look, true. Look, look at Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> would you rather be double your age or half your height? <laughs> double my. I'm already short as fuck, yeah. bro. I, I don't. I don't want to be fucking half my height. Yeah, I'd be double my age. Fuck that. I'd be half my height. How funny would it be being like a little midget, <laughs> yeah. like the fucking Ham's bullet kind? You can join that micro <laughs> Ham's bullet. Bro, gonna fight have, you, have you seen the video? I saw a video of a dude. You know the fucking Madame Tussauds wax yeah, museum. Yeah. The guy 3D printed like a fake little Hasbulla, like he put Is it in the Danny museum. Green? I don't know. I, I Johnny don't Green's know. going around touring Australia with fucking a cutout of Hasbulla, and everywhere he's doing a fucking weigh-in fight photo. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's so funny, he'll, isn't he'll it? He'll be in fucking Gold Coast on the balcony doing a weigh in with fucking Hasbulla. <laughs> fuck is it. he a child or what? I don't know. I think he's a grown man. I thought he was a child. <laughs> I think he's a grown man. Hasbulla, he's like fucking 19. Is he? Yeah, bro. Wow. Fuck. Um, the guy who's fighting Abdul's like a fucking massively famous Indian pop star or some shit, too. Hasbulla's fighting him, Hasbulla. Yeah, I don't know if they're fighting or yeah. it's happened, but oh, yeah, fuck. the the Abdul or whatever his name is, <laughs> fucking massive, like like star in Bollywood Indian. star. Yeah. yeah, fuck. Um, 
for the fellas, would you rather give first ninety percent of a head job or the last ten percent? <laughs> <laughs> what? Would you rather suck a dude off But you don't have to take the cum shot Or would you rather just take the cum this, shot This is the problem You don't know when 90% stops <laughs> That's a fucked up wow. question man <laughs> <laughs> Nah fuck I just, I'll just take the load Fuck it Get her, <laughs> get her, over, get her over and done with quick. Fuck that man What the fuck Who the fuck asked that one Joey's asking <laughs> all of these Joey's a funny cut Joey, loves, Joey always says funny shit man Would you rather Kick a door with a toothpick wedged under your big toe or what? paper cut in the webs of your feet and oh. hands. <laughs> toothpick, man. Fuck that. Paper cuts, bro. You'd run, oh, a toothpick. Have, have you ever cut a web of your toe? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it God. is fucked. I'm cringing just thinking about it. The worst thing is it stays painful for a week, bro. Oh, the pain yeah. doesn't disappear from your webs. But kicking a to- oh, no, toothpick under your toe, they will kick you got a, a door. flat stick, go... <laughs> Kick it, kick the door. I reckon I'd go straight that. in the shock and just fucking pass out. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last one from Joey. If you could take an immortal pill and you could take all your loved ones with you, would you? Fuck no. Nah. 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 Why would you want to live forever? You don't want to live That's forever, misery, man. man. You, you, you'll die when the earth fucking collapses yeah, and it's blown up. fucking 80 and they say, what do you want for your birthday? It's a fucking die. Yeah, death. <laughs> I just want um, death. That was actually all I got for the, the question. Um, one of the polls I asked was, would you rather hang around people who brag all the time or people who complain all the time? I think this is the one I did answer. Yeah, I think I think you gave a response to this. It's, what it's, what it's would you brag. do? It's people that brag, bro. You reckon? It's, it's, even if mm. they're lying, bro, it's fucking entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got that many messages from people who responding to this saying, that's a good question, bro. That's a hard one because fuck, man. But bragging, mm. bragging, even though it's like bullshit, it's still up. We're complaining. You just like it's de- that's, that was my reasoning. The fuck yeah. up. like it's such a depressing, like it's bad vibes. Yeah, so people bragging, it's bringing like the so energy down. Man. Yeah, you can tune out bragging at least. So seventy-seven uh, percent said bragging. Twenty-three percent said uh, people who complain. Yeah, people that's, complain. That's twenty-three percent of some depressed cunts, uh, man. How man. do you check the fucking <laughs> damn? How do you count the votes? It doesn't say, but uh, these have been answered by about fifty people each. So, um. What's your drink of choice? Uh, wine, beer, whiskey, or spirits? Beer, one. Mm. 39% beer, 23% whiskey, 24% spirits, 14% wine. Well, what's this? This I, is... I this want is to be... I'm a beer. Yeah, you're a beer guy. I do love yeah. beer. What's this? A bourbon whiskey. There you go. I love whiskey, man. Yeah, I've been getting into whiskey hard oh, lately, bro. Beer is good, but yeah, man, like when I've been drinking whiskey for a while, and we go back to a beer, and we're always like, "Fuck, this tastes good." I forget. I forget okay. how good. My problem is, that I hit winter, bro, and I turn into a fucking full fledged alcoholic. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, "Fuck, I'm craving Warms a pale." Warms the blood, bro. <laughs> really? What, what, what's your favorite beer? Fuck, it changes. Eh? It, it, honestly, the season, like in summer, mm. I don't mind like a draft, like a VB or a. I'm always like VB or new on in a schooner, no matter what. But when I'm at home, I don't mind a fucking pale ale, like a <coughs> or like a Hen- young Henry Newtown or something like that. The only, I mean, I'm the opposite. I feel like in summer, I just want to fucking have a drink, what, just crack one beer every day after work. In winter, I'm too cold to want to do anything. Mm. That's the like, thing. It's such, it's a more of a heavy flavor, but yeah, so it's like a it's like drinking like your your spirits. Like mm. you know how it's not so like a chill drink you're not being relaxed while drinking. You're actually enjoying it. Mm. Where in summer, it's just like you're drinking because it's fucking hot. Yeah, mm. yeah, and a, true. And a draft is very refreshing, but mm. it's not as heavy as a, an ale or something like that. Like it doesn't have as much flavor, and it's not as enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I just could never get into VB, man. I just, I you just don't what, like it. Bro. I fucking hated it. And then mm. I was with my mate, you know, Todd. Mm. So yeah, I was with him, and he gets, he's like, "Oh, try VB schooner, man. You got to try it. If it's different in a schooner." I'm right? like, "I'm like, bro, VB's dirt. No, nah, I reckon they've changed the formula. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's switched it, it up. Is so similar to new now." Oh, you reckon? So the the three draft, like the three main ones, a new um, Colton draft and VB, and they all started veering away, but they've all come back to Tui's new. Oh, okay. Like that sort of flavour, because that's what sells best in New South Wales. Yeah. Like, I don't mind Tui's. Uh, yeah, so I now, prefer now Tui's to, to VB for so sure. So now, now it's that close that, like, I think at the cola now, it's like $5 for a VB schooner, and mm. it's like 7 bucks. So the whole thing is almost pretty much drinking a new for, for $5 a schooner, bro. Okay. So the, those are called, I've, I've always been confused on like the names and shit. So the VBs, to his new, what they're called ale. Are they, are no, they're, they're drafts. They're drafts. They're drafts. Because I've always been more of a Great Northern Carlton Dry. Yeah. yeah. What is it? That's. They're, they're, they're a dry. They're very high in preservatives, eh? They're, <laughs> they're, um, so you've, you, if you put in like an aspect of like food, so like, yeah, 
your ales and stuff, they're like your mad tappers and your your cream barbecue, like awesome flavour. And then you got like your stuff like frangos and all that, like your semi fast foods. They're your drafts, and then your your Maccas is Great Northern and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's in the I love Great uh, Northern. Anyone that likes beer yeah. doesn't drink that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, you can drink it, but if you like someone that actually mm. likes the taste of it, you, you don't go anywhere near it because yeah. it's just preserved. So, so what, what's the frangos? What's an example? What would be so like? It's just stuff like your drafts and stuff. Like, um, so you got your VBs, your news, you got your like one hundred and fifty lashes and stuff. Yeah. It's a pretty entry level like ale and stuff like that. Just in your normal tap stuff, really. You know, yeah. yeah, the stuff you see most people drinking that aren't preservative beers, that stuff. Fucking hell. Because like, mm. there's so many different names and shit for all this. Oh, there's so many classings. Um, wow. Yeah, but I'm enjoying whiskey lately. Man. Yeah. I fucking can't go wrong with whiskey. Um, if you could know how, when you die, would you? 33% said yes, 67% said no. I would not want Fuck to know. No, that. bro. Yeah, yeah, no. Bro. Why? Yeah. What, what difference is it going to make? What, what value in life do you have if you know? Yeah. Um. Biggest fear, the dark heights, the ocean, small spaces. 21% the dark, 35% heights, 30, uh, 30% the ocean, and 14% small spaces. So most people scared of heights. I'm, I'm claustrophobic. Are you really? Yeah, you're a pretty big dude too. My older brother used to fucking lock me in cupboards and shit. Oh, <laughs> you got PTSD. Yeah, he yeah, used to yeah. hold me on the blankets and it'd be like, yeah. fuck, it's getting dark. Uh, see, weird, because I actually enjoy the dark and enjoy oh. heights. Yeah, I love it. I don't like heights, man. Like, I love heights. I'm all right with it. everything. I don't mind any mm. of that stuff, but... I am, though... Heights probably the worst. I'm shit scared of the ocean. Like, I am... I love the ocean. I, I just, for some reason, in my head, I just can't get the the thought of my head like out of my head of me like getting eaten by a shark I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll be even though it is like one in a million you watch bro i'll be the one unlucky kind of go for a <laughs> swim something like you got and more I'll, chance of fucking crashing your car yeah, on the way to the beach lightning. yeah <laughs> I do, i'm terrified of the I ocean get the fear bro. of the ocean but because like i went on a cruise when i was fucking 17 mm. you don't realize how fucking big the ocean is until bro, you're in the you middle of it imagine the animals in there can like, we you, haven't you discovered see it on the map, you're like yeah that's big and then you're out there you're like holy fuck <laughs> it's taken me 10 days what would do yep. me in a 40 minute flight yep to fucking sail just to fucking sail and think of bro and then you got like the mariana trench and shit bro and they got like all weird and wonderful fucking willy wonka type looking shit in there bro we've only discovered eight like, percent of the ocean they say so that's fucking we've, we've seen more of space than we have our own fucking waters that's very scary to what me. if there's atlantis and shit they're like hidden cities and shit people like having a society down there we wouldn't even fucking know have they found that land that's why we talking about this but once before i think we, yeah I think did we, they well, Imagine. you're talking about like how they found that underwater machine and shit with all the cogs and all oh, that. Oh, I've seen that. What's that? I've seen that. They, they found... I, I want to try this. It's called a something device. It's, I don't know, man. It dates back to like 10,000 years and it's very... Really? Advanced. Advanced for technology. Really? Yeah. And like, it's it's like one thing that's not deep fake. It's actually been proven that they found it, but no one knows what the fuck it is. And it's made out of like copper. So, like they, it's, so it dates back to the copper age. Yeah. But it makes sense to our technology. Well, wow. like, like mid fifties technology sort of shit. Yeah, shit. But no one knows you need what it does. Fucking scissors or something to cut this shit. Yeah. I've seen a few things like that where they've discovered shit from thousands of years ago, but it's so advanced for their time. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, the whole pyramids and shit. But yeah, that's a fucking <laughs> that's like king of worms. Um, are you happy right now? Thirty six votes for uh, yes, ten votes for no. So seventy eight percent yes, twenty two percent no. Um, if you're not happy right now, man. Do what makes you happy, bro. <laughs> Go outside, look at the trees, meditate, man, it's play not, some games. It's not that hard to find yourself happy, eh? It's a choice, man. It, it, it honestly is. It's, it's a choice. There's, there's small things you can change in yourself. It's, just, it's honestly just an outlook. Fucking earth. It's either, it's more if you find yourself like more with, if you have a lot of jealousy, man, that's the biggest problem. People are so fucking jealous. Jealousy will kill you, bro. That's what pe- <laughs> That's why people aren't happy. They're going, why the fuck don't I have a jack? Yeah, but you have a fucking running car, bro. You have a house, yeah. you have food, you know what I mean? It could be so much fucking worse. Gratitude is, um, you know, the best thing for happiness. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, thank you very much, eh, the safe boys. Yeah, that's all right. Brought us a devil's cut. Shout out to you guys. I've never tried yeah. this, so I'm, I'm keen to try it. Yeah, so yeah, quick. Blakey picked that one out. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Oh, obviously, guys, we'll do this again, you know, with yeah. Blake. It, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a fucking big deal. Like, you know what I mean? Um, do you live in St. Clair? No, no, I live in Mountie. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's like it's we're around the corner from each other. Um, it's not, like we should probably have some ice, but I'll just try it a little bit. Just need a taste on the rocks. 
Mm. Damn. Oh, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty tough. That's 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 positive. not bad, but that's actually pretty good. It's not as bad as I thought it. Man, this type of shit was my fucking teens, man. I'd fucking have about. I'd go for about ma- m- like majority of the bottle. I'd get to about where like the devil's word is, that devil's line. I'd get to about there, and then I'd just wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you black out yeah, after I'd that. Yeah, black out, black out. But I wasn't the type of drunk to black out and like still party and do shit. I'd yeah. literally pass out. Oh man, I've had but some. Bang, and then next thing you know, I'm awake and then I've just missed a whole bunch of crazy shit. <laughs> but I still had a good yeah, time. I've had that. Like yeah. you, just, you just wake up and people go, do you remember doing that? No. So the last thing I remember is looking at my phone at 8.30. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, uh, I mean, there was fucking, there was one, t- uh, an OG story was when, um, this is when, so obviously me and my missus have been together for like almost seven years now, but um, it, me and her like used to like sort of like fuck around when we were like kind of younger. We'd go to parties and stuff together. There was one, one of these nights where we were together, we were pre-drinking together and I had already started puking my guts up at pre-drinks, bro. <laughs> That's no cap, but I was, I was literally that cunt at pre-drinks already just fucking head in a bucket, cunts are trying to splash water on me to get me up and shit. <laughs> That's I'm funny just as. sculling bottles of water. I'm like, fuck. And then, I'm going, nah, I can't make it to the party. Can't make it to the party. And there was this party in like fucking like Mount Druid or Oxley Park or somewhere. And the, the boy's like, nah, man, come on, come on. Like, we ha- you have to come, bro. We're putting you in the car. And I'm like, nah, you know what? Fuck it. I feel better. I didn't. I was just trying to convince myself. I'm like, all right. And they put me in the car. I'm like literally like this, bro, in the car trying to get to this party. <laughs> we get to the party. I walked into the party. I shit you not holding my spew bucket. I walked into the party and I was like, Boys and everyone was like Iggy, yeah. I said hello to a couple people, and then bang, bro! I just <laughs> fucking fell over at the back fence, bro, and I was out like a light, bro. The boys told me the next morning people were like trying to piss on me, <laughs> and they're like trying to defend me from like all these cunts trying to piss on me and <laughs> throw food at me and shit, bro. And I'm just there in this bucket, bro. Yeah, missed the whole thing. D- <laughs> missed d- the whole thing. Doesn't this thing usually say the time we've been going? Oh yeah, it's up there. it does. It's up there. Eh? You got the- Is it down the bottom there? But the, the change. What's oh, yeah. going on? 48. I thought Probably because I, thought nah, we because I forgot to hit the record button. But it's still captured. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, over there. I freaked out for a second. 48 there. minutes. Okay. Now nah, I was looking at that before. I was like, wait a second. But when I looked to the right, I saw the 48 minutes. Uh, I got uh, three more of these. Um, have you had a paranormal experience? 65% said yes. Uh, 35% said no. That's 30 votes for yes, 16 votes for no. Now, I'm interested to hear have from you. Have you? Yeah. yeah. I have. All right. You have. Let's hear it. Well, I mean, when I was younger, I was sort of into it more. I'm mm. a bit like uh, out of it now, not really caring. But the... I, I, like there was ones where I think I saw one young kid at um at a school retreat, the one at um the one at Warragamba, and like it was like he was wearing like a white gown. I saw him for a second, so I just passed it off as like, oh, maybe it's my imagination. But the the one that really sticks with me is um at is it old Melbourne Jail? You walk past this cell, man, and holy fuck, it's like something just put a vice grip on your chest. It, in your instant thought is to just sprint because it's like the a- amount of pain just from this one fucking cell and then like I couldn't get back to it but my stepdad went back in there and it's like full mass murderers and famous fucking killers and rapists have been in this cell and it's it, my mum had the same experience she goes I couldn't fucking go near it Fuck that <laughs> Like the scariest feeling So you actually felt something Fully like, in my chest bro Ooh Fuck that And it, like, it started running up my spine and stuff Like it's just so fucking And wow. it's instant too As soon as I saw the opening of the door Bang Fuck it hell. I've never had anything like that physically But Like those campgrounds man Those jails bro Those old jails and shit That's prime fucking ghost yeah. territory man I mean, I haven't. I mean, there was a few. Uh, like, I always had this argument with mum. My, one of our old houses was a hundred. Oh yeah, haunted. for sure. That yeah, was haunted. Definitely. She, she still to this day doesn't believe us, but that was definitely haunted. At but the I'm, time, I didn't realise, but looking nah, back on some of the shit I experienced that in that was house, crazy shit, yeah, bro. definitely. But when I, well, same thing. When I first got with my missus, bro, me and my in laws used to. We used to go out and fucking break into graveyards and shit. Like they're full. Like. Especially my mother-in-law, man. She's into that hard. Ghost hunting yeah, shit. Yeah, like we <laughs> break in the fucking thing. And I'm fucking, I'm shit scared of ghosts. But I still tag along and kind of, you know, jump. Oh, it, you start freaking out after a while. You, something you don't fuck around with, eh? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, like, I don't, I don't get how people yeah. go break into shit and stuff. Yeah. And just, honestly, even if it is, isn't real, but the, the small fact that it is. It's not worth it's it. It's a fucking big risk, You get a man. curse on you and shit. Like, fuck that. You, you get see a fucking, those demented people that get fucking possessed and shit? Oh, I hate that shit. I hate. I don't watch scary movies either, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. I never watch I, scary movies. I mean, it's one of those things. You can't prove it's fucking real. But then there's things. There's stories about people that go break into hospitals and shit. And they come out really fucking weird. Mm. And it's, they're like full change experience. 
I've seen enough to feel like there's something, <laughs> you know, there's something, there's more, you know. Um, also, shout out Jezza. He was wearing the TJM hoodie. Actually, the first giveaway, the very first giveaway we did, Jezza won. <laughs> so it was a <laughs> bit of, you know. I was surprised, eh, when you, you told me. I was like, what the fuck? How did I win? Full <laughs> circle, man. Damn, so, that's um, crazy, man. I remember man. you told me. And I'm like, so do you want me to, like, come pick it up since it's down the road? He's like, no, no, I'll post it. I'm like, I'll ship it oh, to I'm it. two seconds away, bro. I'll come pick it up. <laughs> I think you had, you had COVID or something, I think, at the that's time. You told COVID, me. man. Was it? Yeah. I think so. It was when I hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, but... um. That was the very yeah, first damn, one. We've done, we've done two. So I feel like since. everything's gone did full I, circle to did this I moment. Did actually win it or was I the No, you won it. Yeah, we did the full, <laughs> the real, I did it on live, Instagram live, did the circle. Yeah. Wow, man. So everything has been full circle to this hey, moment, hey, bro. So, so this podcast was always going to happen at some point. Of course. Point. 100%. Man, it's always going to happen. I knew that. Jezza yeah. was one of the yeah. fucking boys, man. You, you know. Fuck yeah, man. Um, that's, that's our relationship. It's always been content sort of based. Yeah, very, yeah. That's cool, man. I fuck with that shit. Um, do we really have free will? 37% said yes. 63% said no. That's 16 votes for yes. Mm. 27 votes for no. So most people think we don't have free will. And I reckon we do. There's two ways to look at it. There's more like the we don't have free will in the sense that People feel like you have to work, you have to get a job, you have to pay rent, you have to pay this, you know, so it's like a government standpoint or I, when I wrote the question, I kind of meant like free will as in like free everything's thinking. already predetermined, you know what I mean? And like, oh, cause like how would you know? On rails sort of thing. Yeah. You know, mm. and it, whether we think we have free will, but I said no, cause Either way you look at it, it's kind of true. You know, you have to work. You have to be part of the society. It, it, you have to I think it comes, like, back to that brag question, bro. It's all the fucking outlook on it. Exactly. Like, I fucking love my job. I love what I yeah. do. Like, I, it, you, people go, oh, I don't want to work. But what the fuck would you do if you didn't, bro? Like, you, even though, know, like, people that don't mm. – I don't get how people stay at home, do fuck all, all day. What, mm. What's the meaning to it? Like, you have to yeah. do something with your life. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it does also come down to – um like the risk as well because like I've met I know you know I'm very good mates with someone who gave up the working life because it, shout out gypsies down under oh uh, yeah that's awesome they were about to buy a fucking house and they just said you know what fuck it didn't do it pimped up his ute and they were gone for fucking almost a year yeah went all over Australia that shows, yeah. that shows there is free will you it. can do it like you really can do whatever the fuck you want as long as it's not Psychopathic. Yeah, <laughs> you can't murder yeah. people. You obviously can't rob people of their lives with drugs and, and shit like that. But you can go fucking pack up. You, yeah, you can't. Yeah. You can't pack up your life and go fucking enjoy it. As long as you're not out fucking raping. You just got to shit. Take yeah. <laughs> with a spiral with penis. A spiral. Put your dick in a take cork control, <laughs> Take control of your life. You know, you got the power. Make it enjoyable. Do what you want. Be happy. All right, last one. No, I can put my fucking phone away. Is there more wheels or doors on earth? Fuck me. 71% wheels, 29% wheels. doors, 29 votes for wheels, 12 votes for doors. This is, this is my point on it. Is, um, you gotta, if you're going to base it on wheels and doors, you've got to put it to the, the, and basic, cars. the basic definition. Is it hinged or is it on an axle? So 100% wheels, bro. Because there's wheels on Lego cars, there's wheels on everything, bro. but there's also doors on everything. Conveyor though. belts. And shit like that. Oh, yeah. They all have fucking, you know. Conveyor belts. But cogs. there's a lot of doors, bro. In every house, everyone's got cupboards. Look, there's a door right there. Opens. Door. <laughs> but then. Door. There's doors everywhere. I think there's wheels. I'd say wheels probably. You, gotta, the, you know what the fucked up thing is, too? We're never going to know. <laughs> here's, here's, the, know. here's the tricky thing. How do you know? Door. Four wheels. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But fuck, yeah. I don't know, man. Because there's multiple doors everywhere. And there's multiple mm. wheels everywhere. Fucking yeah. And all the, my other Wheel. point, wheels. You need wheels to make doors. Yeah. Mm. Conveyor belts. When you put them together. Yeah. They're not gonna well, fucking slide wheels. on another door, are they? They're no, gonna slide on a true. bunch of wheels. That's true. Fuck man. Well, most people think wheels anyway. But <laughs> fire effect. Bring back. <laughs> yeah. I'll obviously lay it Coming like to you live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 so that was funny, man. Mom fuck goes, was, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> I said, we just channeled Triple M. <laughs> just did that. That's right, because your mum would be fucking cooking dinner and shit in the other room and you're in there going... Bruh. You know what? I actually thought I was going to get kicked out of the house after the last pot. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, you know what? Even though you put it on me, she goes, two things. I do love you. And it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny too. Your mum never mentioned in your Cheers, boys. Cheers, Cheers, boys. If you haven't seen the Safe Boys podcast, 
Really give it a listen, man. It, they're short, funny, a lot man. shorter than this. It's a great laugh. Fucking very funny. different to our show, man. It's, I po- it's I post not serious at all. All the links and shit, man. Put all the links, man. Put the fucking socials, all that. I think for this episode too, we'll do a lot of little clips with TikTok and shit. Do like yeah. Next week. Every time we uh, say we're gonna put a clip, you never do. <laughs> yeah, you I'm lazy fuck. Talk to my agent about that, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, because I'm fucking, I hate it, man. Like, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, man. I'm fucking telling you right now, right? On Instagram, it may fucking look like I'm having a good time, but I'm fucking not. I hate it, bro. I hate it. Just because I'm putting that fucking a picture with a bunch of emojis and shit, I'm all, it's all a fucking he's, marketing gimmick. I'm telling you right now, he I does, He does put it. in work. He's been fucking running F- around like a headless I, chicken since I've walked in the fucking Mate, pool, I fucking <laughs> walked in the- I me, walk, me and Dylan have just work. been sitting there just reminiscing. He's just oh, fucking getting marks out, setting fuck, everything up. man. I fucking hate it. at the camera that he's had for fucking ages. Don't even yeah, have to fucking turn still up. Still doesn't know how to on, work man. the fucking camera. I'm fucking telling you, man. As soon as this shit takes off, man, I'm fucking going to hire a fucking- little Mexican named Don Julio and he's gonna do all this shit bro for fucking 10 bucks an hour <laughs> fuck <laughs> no, man fucking you're a good paying boss for a Mexican mate, bro <laughs> 10 bucks an hour I hate it man I fucking hate it at least if he gets lazy you can just deport yeah bad. <laughs> back to Mexico <laughs> <laughs> alright boys so I'm gonna say something big right now I have a prediction prediction I was thinking about the other day when I was doing my grocery shopping right now I'm gonna say it right now you're gonna hear it here first on Firecast right I think within five years, Woolworths will be the first to offer after pay for your groceries. Now, I had this thought because I went grocery shopping, right? At the start of the week. I got paid. It was a pretty fucking good pay. I was very happy with it. We went, we stayed away in, in Oberon for a week. So you get your living away allowance and meal allowances and all that bullshit, right? So whatever. All so ba- basically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> while I was fucking pissed drunk every night. But anyway, fucking, um, and I did my grocery shopping and I didn't like, yeah, I bought a couple of snacks, like a few bags of chips, but not, nothing crazy. Like two bags of chips, you know, your fucking soft drink, your veggies, your chicken breast, your meats for the week. Bro, it cost me 160 fucking bucks, It's bro. ridiculous, man. It is. That's no cap. Inflation's cat. fucking crazy, bro. And I just like saw the, the things getting scanned and everything was like minimum $6, $5. You, you know for, what? Bing, bing, bing. I was like, holy fuck. I was like, what the fuck? And I was just thinking in my head, even though I had a mad pay, I was just thinking, fuck, wouldn't it be mad if I could just after pay this and then just pay off the whole after pay next week when I've got like nothing on? And I was like, hold on a second. Everything is becoming so expensive and the only thing not going up is our hourly rates Yeah, yeah at yeah. work. Well, our fucking wages haven't gone up in 15 uh, years. So how are people going to afford their fucking groceries if this keeps happening? They're going to have to offer after pay for these poor motherfuckers. I, I, I don't think it'll happen, eh? I don't think it'll happen. I was we, thinking, I don't I think, think so, I man. Think the only reason is like, I mean, with the government change, like Labor puts on the fact that he, I think it's like 80% of young people under like the age of 30 have crippling fucking after pay debts and shit like that. So they'll never put it to common items because then you just fuck yourself up each mm. week. You may pay that 160 bucks and go, oh yeah, fuck you, yeah, I'll pay that payment. Within four weeks, you're paying 160 bucks subscription to fucking Woolies anyway, because that four payments is out of And you got to go every week to yeah. the fucking. You're gonna have you, yeah, people are just fucking off page week. Yeah, I don't know, man. I still think they're gonna they have to do they're gonna have to do something. Our, our wages will go up, man. They'll go up. You reckon? Yeah, it's. I have a lot of faith in the elbow, bro. He's a fucking smart bloke. He, really? It's, it's a big thing he put forward. Eh? He goes, he well, look at housing, bro, in Sydney. You look, you get a fucking fibro shack in Old Mount Druitt mm. where I live. I mean, the house is worth three hundred thousand mm. dollars. They're going for one point two. Mm. That's ridiculous, fucking, man. Like these things have holes in the floor, bro. Like yeah. rat problems, termite infestations, and people are putting a million dollars on this piece of shit. Mm. But see, this is this is the thing that I'm thinking happens. So interest rates are going up, right? So what will happen is everyone's going to default, and they're going to all right, fuck, I'll sell my house. It's not a one point two million dollar house anymore. It's a five hundred thousand dollar house. You've just lost seven hundred thousand mm. dollars, which is what's going to happen, I reckon. So you reckon people are going to start selling at a loss? One hundred percent, bro. How how can it go up any higher when no one can afford it? And then people are not going to be able to afford to live in it. Mm. No one's going to want to buy it. It's a piece of shit. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah, Wait, they, mean, they, they're going to build big apartment blocks like in Ready Player One. They're going to have us in. They're going to have government deliveries of rations. Yeah, mm. on little drones, drop it in your window. Rice and beans. And have you That's seen that movie? Oh fuck yeah! 
Man, and I'm, I'm full That's of real VR, life. Right? Steven Spielberg, it's predictive programming. I'm, I'm already on ahead of it, bro. I've got VR and shit. It's fucking sick. I'm playing, <laughs> bro. VR. It's oh, yeah. so sick. I've seen the videos with, with, with the fucking people punching on in the bar. Yeah, yeah. I've got it. Bro, that's why whenever someone comes over, it's like, oh, yeah, can I play it? It's all right. Put on this game. They yeah. walk into the bar and they're fucking, oh, sick, I'm smoking a dory, man. <laughs> 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 like, what, what are you doing now? Oh, pool ball. Bang, yeah. pop that, you slut. Yeah. That, that was a um, <laughs> funny video you did once with you, with, with all the boys in Moby, Archer, Brad, man. You, man, you're playing VR chat. Right. It was so fun, fun bro. Man, you told me to bring it over, man. Fuck. That'd be a fucking funny segment. Hey, we film ourselves do fucking... Now, well, that's the fucking scary thing, man. I'll, we are talking to our... To our Cousin the Viking when we were work collabing for you out the, the from here to forever album and we're in like a Zoom call kind of thing and we we're talking we got fucking sidetracked as and we're talking about oh no it wasn't kind of sidetracked we're talking about doing VR concerts and shit and if it could happen and kind of shit but if the, during when COVID first happened right me and my mates because me like me and my friends were a very social fucking group right we're, we're either together at the pub drinking and blowing our wages on the pokies. Or we're on the computer playing games together. Yeah, yeah. We're always f- together. It's yeah. fucking weird as fuck. But anyway, um, so during COVID, it was kind of not hard for us because we could already hang out online, on, on, yeah. online anyway. So we we're kind of like frothing it. We we're like, yeah, fuck yeah, no work. We can just fucking <laughs> play games. So we we're like, all right, we, we, we all had to go VR chat, all right? Um, and mind you, this was not like with the headset on either. This was just straight VR chat on the computer, which is the scary thing, right? So I can imagine how it would have been if I had the headset, right? And we all decided to get, you know, fucked up while we played. <laughs> so it was kind of like hanging out at the pub, but just virtually. So we all, you know, went to the fucking thing, bought beer. You know, some of the boys were smoking billies in their rooms and shit. So we're all getting real fucked up. Ducking off to the toilet. Yeah, bro. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You know There's what a I mean? fucking toilet in this coke room too. Yeah. <laughs> and then fucking... So we all, we're playing this VR chat thing and same thing. There's like there's little bars and shit, bro. And then next thing you know, bro, we, we were in this thing for fucking hours, bro. <laughs> and that's how, that's why I made that video because there's so much random shit happening. And then the funny, and I haven't even up finished editing that video. There's a part two that I've been me- meaning to edit. I just can't be fucked to do it, bro. This, this is no cap, right? We're playing for that long, bro. Me and, I think it was me and Mobsy then went from the world we were in with everyone. We went to a different world. And we go into this world, right? And then it loads in and we just see this little this little alien figure out in the distance in the world. And we're like, what the fuck? We're like, fuck, it's another player. Who the fuck's that? We go up, bro. And it's just a character staring at the sky. We're like, oi, oi. And then you see his name. It was fucking Hendo. <laughs> <laughs> one of my mates that we knew had gone missing and no one noticed. And he was just <laughs> like that, just in this other world, just staring at nothing. And we're, and we're AFK. like- AFK. <laughs> no, no, we're like- Hendo. And he goes, oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm like, Hendo, what are you doing? He goes, huh, how'd I get here? Like, he was just that, like, in limbo with it all. We just started losing our shit, bro. I've got that all recorded, bro. It's funny that, as fuck. That's the funny thing about it, is that you're all, like, fucking Squidward and shit. You're, like, <laughs> fucking <laughs> funny, <laughs> random. I've had a few guys today. It's <laughs> fucking cool, though. I didn't know you could do it without the headset. Yeah, there's a, there's I didn't a, know either. There's a desktop version. Let's do it on stream, bro. I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fucking fun. One of your streams, bro. Yeah, and you need, you need no PC power to run that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's it's, it's like I think to download it, it's like not even a gig. Nah, it's like five hundred yeah, megabytes it, it, it's or something. It's constant streaming, but that's the thing, mm. bro. Let's do it on stream. That'd be mad. It would be funny, but yeah, like th- and this shit was so. It, I could imagine if we were if we all did it like Ready Player One style, bro. I'd be fucking. I'm telling you, I'd be doing crazy it's, shit. It's hard to make fucking VR content, but apparently, oh fuck if yeah. I've, I've done like I've I've thought about it, and they're like fuck me, and to get the capture. Of the shit, it's fucking. It looks crazy. complicated. Eh? It'll get better, but it'll get easier. They'll bring how out new w- gear. How, how would you capture it? I don't know because it's not like fucking. You can just chuck it on OBS. On yeah, no. That's no. Like, how do you capture the VR? It's part hard of because it. a lot of them, are, um, a lot of the VR like headsets are very careful about who they like, what third party apps they let in. Yeah, there's a lot. It's like Apple, man. How like there's heaps of fucking guidelines and shit. Because otherwise they're not going to turn it as enough profit. Yeah, 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 year. yeah. So when they produce their own product, it's pretty yeah. much all you can use. It, it's still pretty, like a pretty baby industry. It's so new, as it progresses, it, they'll they'll bring out gear that lets content creators for it. They'll bring out shit that'll there, make there everything is easier. stuff, but it's, it, it's not. It's, it's hard. Like, yeah. it's difficult to use. Well, man, fucking, yeah. Well, not shout out because this guy's fucking super famous and he's not going to hear this. But Alex Becker, you're not following him on Twitter. Follow Alex Becker if you want to learn how to make kind of easy money. 
Same thing with the whole NFT and stock thing. He's been saying now for a couple months, during this market crash, invest in VR shit. Yeah. The companies that do VR, Metaverse, all that virtual shit, he goes, invest in that shit because... He goes, it's, that's going to blow when all this shit blows over. He goes, that's going to be the companies and, and the gaming things that bang. Oh, it's, it's, if you want proof, Facebook should be enough, bro. The fact that Facebook changed their name to Meta and they're going all in on doing a Metaverse, that should be... If a company like Facebook yeah. is banking that hard on it, you can bet it's going to be... I'll tell you one thing, but like VR's booming, but that Metaverse is fucking cap. Uh, no one's, it, no it, one's on I'm it. telling you. There yeah, is, for now. For no, now. I mean, like, you know how everyone's like, oh, board houses and shit. But it's already blown over. Not that the, the VR trend, it's gone up. But the fucking metaverse thing. Like, oh, we're in our own virtual reality. Everyone's going, that's a bit fucking shit. I'm going to go punch some drunk dickheads mm. instead of fucking walking around buying virtual houses. Like, it's it's already fucking but dead. It, that's because it, it's still so... It, it's going to be Ready Player One, bro. It's, it's going to be a big interconnected it's, thing. It's, it's exactly the same as what VR chat is, except people have wasted money in it. Yeah, but it's still young. It's still nothing right now right I now think, it's nothing i think what they're trying to do is just virtualize facebook life that the, yeah. you're just a virtual facebook profile and that's what they think and they think it's going to kick off but it's it's not have you seen the video they put out it's like an hour and a half video of showing like the shit they're planning to do and like you can play ping pong and shit and like you, you know it's funny about like because they before they put out vr stuff in the last year or so their videos they've said nothing like every other time they go, oh yeah, and this is our new headset. It's got this hardware and this is. They come out now, Mark Zuckerberg's going, oh, I might change my outfit. Everyone's going, what the fuck are you announcing, bro? You're just making a fucking nothing video. Yeah, it, it's it's Facebook sucks, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's a reptilian shape-shifting <sighs> robot. I, I don't even fucking use I don't, I, use I Facebook don't have Facebook Messenger. anymore and I'm, I've a, never been happier. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, a fucking funny as fuck meme. You know when he was getting trialed? <laughs> He's got the fucking glass of water. <laughs> they do the drinking noise from Minecraft. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the, the memes are funny as he's, he's trying to pretend to be human. Like he's a robot. He's a fucking alien in disguise. I'm out here cooking some hams. <laughs> <laughs> See what else I got here, boys. Also, uh, shout out Jezza for bringing oh, these. Yeah, oh, so I was listening man. last week and you're like, oh, I got these toxic things. And you're talking about how you love sour, bro. Well, I'm no, gonna make no. you fucking. Cry. You want to try them now? Yeah, I'm keen to try. Right. Yeah, oh All right, it's up to you. God, we can, you man. can read out. Do you got how many of those? Read, you you got? What do you got left? No, no, eat, eat that shit first, bro. I'm just fucking reading through these. I've only got four more, yeah. four more polls. So I brought over. I think it's what the watermelon. Is, what's it called? And cold. They're mega sours, bro. From did you go to the lolly shop at Penrose? Yeah, yeah. You get them there, bro. Are are they, they, I didn't even see. I'd give you a flavor choice, but these are the my newest ones, the cola. So yeah. they got more sour, so. Are they like yum at all or no? Yeah, they're like a mad hard lolly. They're British. Suck on a butt. Spit it out. <laughs> Don't do that. You that one? I'll, do one. I'll do one. It yeah. can't be that bro, bad. I, like this is what I was saying to deal before. <laughs> I warheads, bro. Don't make a face. Yeah. This makes me cry. It can't be that Ready? bad. Ready? <laughs> sure. Are you kidding me, bro? Is it yum at all? Oh fuck. <laughs> How are you not fucking bothered by that? Oh, it's pretty sour. <laughs> Fuck, your face is going so red. Mm. <laughs> uh. It tastes mad, but the problem is your tongue's bleeding after. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought, to be honest. Mm. It's mad fun, but fucking hurts after. Oh, oh my god! It's uh, it's intense, eh? That's yum, but yeah, but it's fucking intense. I could need a whole bag of those, but oh, <laughs> god! I thought do it. What, chew them? Yeah, I I chew mine after. Yeah, I was gone. I'm chewing it. Yeah. Oh, they are yum though. They, that's oh, what I was, that's wow. what I was saying to you. I'll make you cry, but you'll mm. fucking love the taste of it. Mm. Man, your face went as red as you Holy know, fuck, bro. <laughs> How many do you get in a pack with those things? It's like 25, eh? 25? Yeah, they're like fucking four bucks each. Fucking hell. Like, what are they no, called? The Mega sour. Mega sour. So you know when you walk in that lolly shop, mm. go to the left aisle. I'm on the wall there on the left side. No, yeah, I didn't really look There's up. There's heaps of flavours, bro. Yeah? Heaps of them. 
It's actually really fucking but, yum, but, but they, they lose a bit of sour. Yeah. I've got mine in the fridge because they sort of melt pretty quick. Mm. So, like, I had um, bubblegum ones. Oh, that'd be good. Mad flavour, but there's no sour left in them. Oh, yeah. Because the, it just, yeah, because the, the, I don't know what it is. I think it's just super acidic sugar. Yeah. And it just it just melts off. It just melts away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck. Wow. Thank you, you. I hate how they get stuck in your teeth, but yeah. Your teeth feel fucking like foam. Furry, furry, yeah. yeah. Furry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, this is something I was talking to one of my good friends, uh, Lydia, about the other week. <laughs> so it's you that chews with your mouth open. Yes, yeah, so ASMR, bro. <laughs> ASMR. I was half listening to the other one because I listen to it. I don't watch it. And she's like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, which one of them is? <laughs> <laughs> I think I haven't said it to you. I said, which one of you grubs do right. that? You got to, you got to do the ASMR, bro. So, you know, yeah, this ASMR. Then. Just <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, she was saying that she reckons that ever since like 2019, 2020, the world's been super weird. But I kind of said, the world's always been weird. But she said, no, nah, no, nah, but since the, like 2020 onwards, things have been super cooked. No, nah, I'm, I'm with you. It's always been weird, yeah, eh? You, know, you know why? Mm. And it comes back to TikTok. Mm. People can make normal content and explain, explain their opinion. Before, how the fuck could you tell people about all the weird shit? You, you told your 16 mates on MySpace while they listened to your Usher song on your wall. Like... No one fucking cared what your opinion was. But now there's opinions everywhere. Now, now, now there's so much media out there yeah. that they know, like... They look, it well, seems like the world is worse than it is. Yeah. But well, it's not. There's just a spotlight on it. That's why, yeah. Well, that's kind of like what it is. It's like the world's always been weird, but it's just that now it's very easy to share info yeah. around the world. Well, fuck. Like, look at what everyone's done, bro. Yeah. Everyone's gone, oh, I'm at home for two years. So they've all made a fucking TikTok. Yeah. And they think they're fucking mm. iCarly bloggers. Also, the, the thing is, too, that... A lot of people our age have never been through something like COVID before, but these yeah. things have happened in the past. There has no been pandemics, been through it, bro. but yeah, they've had. There's been pandemics. The, the uh, last one was a hundred years ago. Oh like yeah, last serious was the Spanish yeah. flu. Other than that, like you had AIDS and something. There's you been didn't little have to ones. Quarantine, yeah. like MERS and SARS and shit, but they were a lot smaller. Even Ebola was bro, like yeah. in Africa. Remember Ebola? I was fucking terrified yeah. of Ebola. Bro, yeah. I mean, I was what. 12 or something or 11. It was like fucking African bitches eating each other and so, shit. So I watch it on the news and you see fucking like juggernaut mm. suit blokes yeah. wheeling in some dude into a triage. Yeah. Like, holy fuck, we're all going to turn into zombies. <laughs> we're all going to die. Well, the, I asked the poll, like, do you believe the world has been weird since 2019? And then 52% said the world's always been weird. 48% for yes. And then, yeah, people for no and sort of 0%. So it's all, so basically, yeah. Almost half half of the world's always been weird, and yes, I just yeah, I do believe it's just because we're so it's so easy to access information now. Yeah, that everything seems fucking crazy. Like you, but like you, you know, when you first wake up, or, I don't know if you got guys got the new iPhone or whatever, but on the new iPhone, um, or the iPhone update, you you now wake up, or like if you don't touch your phone for a couple hours on my home screen before I open my phone, it gives me like a little summary log of like what's happened on my Twitter and Instagram and it puts it into like a little right. into like a little news like a little news blog. So you could have like shit in the news like mass shooting in America. That's gonna pop up on the home page of your phone. And oh, you're, thing you really see. Cool. you're gonna look at it and go, oh my fucking God, like this is crazy. Like so it's, it's just clickbait before you wake up. Yeah, it's literally just like <laughs> trying start, to scare, your day off. scare the fuck out of you before you wake up. And like, an important thing to remember on this is that these news sites and these media companies They're trying to scare you. They make money off of fear mongering. That's how 100%. they get clicks because scared people click news way more than happy. That's why there's never any happy stories. So they're blowing everything way out of proportion most of the time to scare you and you fall for it. That's why I say turn off the fucking news. It's dog shit. You know, what? you just made me think about that. Then I think happy people, bro, they don't watch any media. Never. I don't watch TV, bro. You shouldn't. Fuck like, no, TV. like I don't because it fucking bores me and it's all. Like basic, like mass produced fear. That's all it is, mm. and it makes people think they feel super, like feel fucking drained. You are. Mm. They feel scared. Like, and look how happy you are, bro. <laughs> I, I fucking I go home, 
I've fucking I've rewatched Star Wars Rebels four times, bro. Like, <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah, bro. bro. Fuck yeah. Yeah. On record, Rebels is better than Clone Wars. No, hundred nah. percent. Uh, Clone Wars it is good. good. Nah, Rebels. Me and my, me and Mister Meagley always talk about this on work. Like at work, you don't realize how um. Like you don't realize how underrated and important Rebel is. Oh, Rebels is to the story, eh? Hundred percent. It's so like, much shit happened, especially in that. with Clone, the Soka Clone show. Clone Wars is good, but like nah, Clone Wars was way better. I, I enjoyed it. No, it, I think I, I liked it because I, I saw Clone Wars. I watched Rebels first, so I saw oh. Clone Wars. It's very political. No, nah, see. Lot, uh, and then there was a lot of emotion, a lot of growth in yeah, Rebels. It's a it's yeah. a better overall story on its own. I liked. I didn't like Rebels at the start because of how kiddy it was. Because re- remember, when Rebels first come out, that it's was Disney. Disney Plus. No, it was Disney XD. Plus Disney or XD. XD. Yeah, XD. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't even Disney. It was the kids' Disney. Yeah, yeah. So they really dumbed it down. So like when the stormtroopers well, were having these battles, they're missing every single. Well, like in Clone Wars, bro, people are getting their arms chopped off that, and that, shit. That didn't happen till like the fucking fifth season. Yeah. But amazing though. Amazing. People are still getting shot. There's still big battles. Yeah, war. Yeah. Rebels was very like the first season. You don't see anyone die, but the 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 main character, the fucking ocelot, whatever the fuck his name is, he's oh, just yeah. cracking their heads like Zeb. two coconuts on each other, <laughs> and, and they're still yeah. knocking them out and shit. Like that's not gonna happen in real life. Like you got to shoot the motherfucker. Yeah, true, like, true, true. So he's, you know what you mean. Yeah. But that, you know that's why the new Vader show, bro. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. The fucking stormtrooper! I couldn't believe he got cut in half on the lasers and shit. That and was they sick, crack in the neck that like was crazy. Bro, man. That shit is awesome. <laughs> I just love how fucking emotion um, provoking the new content of Star Wars is. Like, yeah, the mm-hmm. prequels are sick, but mm-hmm. like as I said, Rebels was what not long ago. Fuck, man! When you watch Kanan die, mm-hmm. I mean, you're seeing it. Eh? Yeah. Kanan dies, man. You're right. like, fuck! I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, bro. you literally I'm gonna take stress, or, and then you see. Yeah, spoiler alert again. You see Obi Wan get put in the fire and he's fucking oh screaming. Oh my god, like, bro! When he was dragging him, it, 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 it like, hurt because man, fuck? I grew I grew up idolizing Anakin. Yeah, and then you see this, you're like, "Fuck, my hero is a dick, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. A fucking dick." That's how he should be, but it's fucking awesome. It's, oh, perfect right for a character, but I'm like, surely he has some sort of like, oh fuck, he's and he he's Obi Wan, and that's just like, nah, fuck you. Cop that. It's only the third episode, too. It's going to get crazy. I love seeing older on, too. That was awesome. That I, was reckon, I reckon the young Leia is doing heaps good. <laughs> she's, 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 she's great. On. About she looks just like her, bro. Right? I mean, yeah, the run through the trees was a bit fucking Oh, silly. that's it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, and I couldn't catch a little toddler. Yeah, that oh, was weird. Just, how she runs up to the tree and goes, oh, fuck. And it stops. It's what, a tree, dude. Just what, why didn't they just make her hide instead? Yeah. And, like they struggle to find her for a bit. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's pretty the, cool they got flea on there, but. Oh, yeah. yeah that's from, it. yeah, the chili peppers, yeah. Wait, what? Chili. Yeah, the base is base Flea. Flea. The bold guy, the bounty hunter that was hunting Leia. And oh, is that, the chili yeah. oh, Flea. Is that yeah. Flea? Yeah. Holy, I didn't even notice. I didn't yeah, notice either. I think Blake told me. I saw it in the credits. It said just Flea. <laughs> 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 okay, shit, man. That's, yeah, fucking beautiful, beautiful watch. Um, oh, okay. So I went I went back to similar Questions to the start. Do you have a side hobby you do after work? 26% for yes, 39% for no, 32% for every now and then, and 14% for once a week. Are you are you a gamer or anything? So yeah, do you bro. just Yeah, so you game like you come off work and sometimes you, you game. Like that's fuck yeah, every day almost. Oh, I mean, I I've been fucking heaps busy. Like I, I live at my dad's house every Thursday. Wednesday I'm playing indoor cricket. Tuesday I'm doing the pod. Oh, so you got heaps of hobbies. But, you but like any spare second, bro. I turn on the PC. Yeah, yeah, that that fucking bad boy's we've, always on. We've been smashing like me and my mate Cam. We've been smashing heaps of Rocket League, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. heaps of it. We were playing a bit of Fortnite before. The hardest thing is just to find a game that you can get glued to. Well, I was, this is the problem at the moment, man. Like, I, I, I've been wanting to stream every day, but like, I'm, the games are so dead lately. Yeah, yeah. There's literally nothing to. I'm so every every game is so my, boring my now. My problem with it is, bro. Like, they people like. Developers think they have to change games. And yeah, some of them were shit. But then you got stuff like my favorite type of Fortnite was 2017 when the build, you had to wait to see the fucking sticks build up. Yeah. And you you only built because it's like, oh, fuck, I need to get up to that hill. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Like, it's and then, season and then they, one of and Fortnite. Then they, yeah. And yeah. then they changed it and it was like, why'd you change it? It was mm. fucking great. That's the problem with games now. They fucking, they think they have to reinvent the wheel. Mm. Bro, the wheel's turning. 
Mm. Just keep just going. Sit on if it. it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Four guys is launching the game. I played the fuck out of it when it first came out. It's gone free to play and cross play. Bro, we should play that on stream. Boy, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll jump on. I got it on my PC. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I'm an Xbox boy, so I've just got it. Oh, <laughs> right. That was okay. so fun when it first came out, bro. They're like relaunching the whole game. It's free to play now. It's going to be, it's like June 20th, I think. It's cross play. So, like, we could play it on stream and shit. Yeah, that's a good idea. It'll be fucking it's, it's fun. It's cross play now, isn't it? Can't you play? Was it, is you it? can play PS. Like PlayStation, so, PlayStation yeah. now, yeah. I think so. I don't. Know, I have it on my computer anyway, but yeah, oh. I got it on mine. Oh, oh. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that's fun game, man. We're, in, we're playing, oh. bro. That's yeah, a, fuck it, bro. That's a fucking idea, right there. Get Callan on too. Mm. Um, Callan's a funny game. <laughs> I love provoking that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, Aussie. <laughs> yeah, sh- shout shout out Aussie Slung yeah, Barnard. He did say to me when we were, I was talking to him on his stream, and he's like, "Hey, man," he's like. Um, I saw that you've got um fucking uh, Jezza coming on or whatever. He's like, he's gonna have a hectic time, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, Shout out Aussie Slang, man. Oh, yeah. Aussie TJM Slang Records, bro. Man. So um, I didn't then ask uh, if yes to having a hobby or side hustle. What is it? Uh, Callan, shout out Aussie Slang Twitch. Someone said playing Apex, mountain biking and footy. Mountain biking would be fucking scary, but fun. Fuck that. Oh, that. <laughs> It's one of those things like, how do you fucking get into that, eh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, how do you, yeah, how do you, you can't you? just like slowly get into it. It's like, you just got to go, fuck it. I'm going down this hill, bro. Yeah. And then you enjoy it. You got to get good at riding a bike first yeah. or something. Like yeah, so you practice like, at the skate park or what? It's like, not like any small hobby where you take steps. It's like, oh, I've, I've got the pedals, I've got the balance. It's a dangerous hobby. Let me hobby. just take on this yeah. fucking mountain. See yeah. what happens. <laughs> That's a dangerous hobby, man. You're not going to walk the track too before. You're nah, like, no, you're no, just you going to go into it. Like, have you seen the videos on YouTube where they're jumping off ginormous hills and oh, shit? Oh, the like, red bullshit. Bro. And the that's on a bike. they got tyre tread width yeah. fucking landings and they're jumping like fucking 40 feet. Some people are crazy. Have you seen where they got the wingsuits and they're going down the fucking canyons and they, shit? They pick the holes and shit. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Phil says Adriana Chechek. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Phil, man. Good, good content. That's man. a good hobby. Um, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Homie, homie says golf, SHA, golf would be a great one. I'd love to get into that. Golf is so fun, bro. Do you play golf? I've played a golf. Oh, I've wanted to do it so much more. I've played a couple of times. problem is fucking, I'm an alcoholic at golf, bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what the makes problem. it fun, but. No, but like there's, there's two types of golf. There's the drinking dickheads that run each other over, and then there's. Actually being good at it. Mm. The first one's funny. Man, <laughs> we, we buy nah. a bucket of balls when we play because just straight away off the first tee, slice. Yeah. All right, well, let's throw it and that's where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> nah, if you play, pro- you'd like it for sure. I, I've gone to the driving range. I've actually got a pretty gnarly swing, eh? Bro. Like I can fucking whack bro, it. Bro, we should go sometime, yeah, man. We I'm should down, go, man. bro. I, 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 yeah. Shout out Pierce, man. We used to uh, go golf, man. Bro, that's just... But that lolly's, that lolly's fucked my whole beer up. T- yeah, it fucked my beer it up. It tastes all right. I don't mind it. <laughs> I, I, can't, I, know, I can't taste the beer. It's, it's like yeah. A, it's it, too it, overpowering. It, it, yeah. Fuck. Um, the, another homie says, making beats and engineering. Yep, I feel that one. Um, someone says, <laughs> Aaron says, does gaming count? Because if, yeah, it it if I could, I would be into streaming, but I can't be fucked. <laughs> You got to start. You got to start. Just take the dive, man. Um, <laughs> Chloe says cooking and cleaning after me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. Um, and then Zexa, shout out ZX, says Big music, fan. music and boxing. Yeah. Me- boxing, yeah. That's a good one too. Ig's, Ig's going to go after this. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to say yeah. that. <laughs> 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 Please, I'm starving. You're the best, baby. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> hungry. I'm starving. And, um, and while you're at it, my fluoro needs to be washed. <laughs> 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 I need work closer tomorrow. Um how regularly do you listen to podcasts? Always 24%, 10% for never, 52% for every now and then, and 14% for once a week. Um, every, every now and then. Dude. I used to be every now and then, and then I think when I started thinking about it, because like, I used to listen to you guys at probably every fourth episode or so, Yeah. and then just at work, because I just got sick of listening to the same songs. Mm. As I started putting on, I listened to, um, you know, Bryce Mills on Triple J. Yeah, yeah. He does, um, he's got his, God is dead with um, Struthless, the artist. Yeah. They just go over common shit. Oh, yeah. And then at the end of it, like, it, and it's fucked up memes. Like, you know how, like, people use their parents as clout yeah, when yeah, they're yeah. dead? Oh, yeah, that's okay. fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Like, 12 year olds going, fuck, my mum's dying of cancer. Yeah. It'll make me very happy. If you like, if this you subscribe. Shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So they, they go over if God's dead in that situation. And it's like, it's lighthearted, dumb shit. Yeah, that's fine. So I, I I like um I like your show because it's perfect length because I got bored of listening to the same music at the gym. I got my playlist and I started listening to your show. It's perfect length, about an hour. I just go the whole workout by the time the show starts and finishes. That's my workout. The workout, done. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So see, I've noticed I've tend to listen to podcast. Um, so like I only listen to like the homies podcast. So I listen to Safe Boys. I was listening to um the Casting Couch and by Stephen and stuff. We're doing it. They, um, they stopped doing what that. What's going name? On? Yeah, <laughs> Casting Couch. That was fun too. We did that. Yeah, that episode. was a good. That was a good episode. Um, bring that back. Um, <laughs> listening. Yeah, bring it back. That was a uh, demand, bro. Yeah, it was fun, bro. <laughs> I tend to I listen to it like kind of when like I'm editing videos or making little reels for TikTok and shit. That's when I tend to just listen, and then next thing you know, I, I haven't made any videos. I've just been sitting there for like an hour and a half with a beer, and I'm just listening. Kind of yeah, they're like, best time killers, bro. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Awesome. I can't find myself doing it when I'm actually doing something, but I'm because I'm at work half time in, fa- in the factory. You just put it on, man, and it goes yeah. from seven to three. Like that. yeah, yeah, that's it, awesome. Fucking know. it kills it. Um, Joe Rogan on occasion If there's an interesting person I, I, yeah. I don't want to get serious I don't want to actually listen I just want to Yeah kill the time You just yeah. have fun Which is alright But then I don't want to be like oh, So the Camden Hospital yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Theory of relativity <laughs> Coronavirus is man made <laughs> um, And then my last Last poll Thought I'd try to uh, End with some Type of positivity I said Are you mentally Strong minded 48% for yes, 60% yeah. for no, and 36% for sometimes I am. Sometimes How much percent I'm for no? Not, 16%. 16. Yeah, that's, a, that's not bad. I thought it'd be yeah. more. I thought you said 60, yeah, so I was going to say, yeah. fuck, I don't know. Wow, man. Uh, yeah, I'm mentally strong, man. You just got to be happy. Happiness is a choice, man. Yeah. It's important. You know what I think is the biggest part? It's fucking communication. Hell yeah, bro. You can't be, you got to be mentally strong to communicate, and when you do it, it's fucking, it's funny, it's a, you got to be strong to communicate, but to be st- Strong, you have to communicate. Like it's it's a without one, it's yin and yang. Bro. Give take, yeah, fuck it. You got to start doing it to feel strong, but you can't be strong until you're doing it. Yeah, hundred percent. It's easier to communicate now than ever, too. You know 100%. what I mean? So you got your friends, you got your homies, you get people you like around you. You know, chop it up, make yourself happy, man. You know, live life to the fullest, bro. Yeah, I mean, like the it's still it's 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 crazy how some people just like. They, they say they just straight up just go yeah nah I'm not like they know it it's crazy like well you've already lost the battle yeah 100% you're already you're already counting yourself out the, wor- the worst ones are when they're like oh I'm feeling so bad man what's wrong I'm here I don't want to talk about it it's like <laughs> okay, unless it's like I get the like the trauma and stuff but then if it's something like oh bro I've having shit weeks at work and whatever yeah. you already lost the battle if you're not going to tell me about it yeah. like it's like you're not gonna no one can help you until you can help yourself too you gotta want to be helped yeah. as well and there's nothing wrong with fucking help eh yeah big fuck stigma yeah. around blokes man no oh, take mate. help bro it's it's not like it's not fucking gay yes yeah. it's, <laughs> it's not gay bro. it's not it's, gay to get help you can kiss you like you know if you want to kiss your your your, your mate sometimes <laughs> if you, you know bro, if, you, if you want to just you know jack I, your, jack your mate off he's had a bad day sad, if you're sad if you need a blowjob bro your friend can hook you up with a blowjob without being gay if he's cheering you up like yeah. if you, you know if he's it's only for good night but you can't do it out of emotion yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna it's be like a good night bro <laughs> <laughs> so you wake up on the right side of the bed <laughs> It's not gay, all right? It's all right. I have socks on, boys. Yeah, to suck your mates <laughs> up. <laughs> no up. homo, no homo, no homo. No, nah, it's, it's not, no homo, bro. Like, the best thing to do, bro, if you're feeling shit, tell your mates, bro, let's go to the pub, have a drink. Well, like, most fuck. of the time, bro, that bro's yeah. doing the same thing. Yeah. We're all fucking struggling, man. Yeah, fuck it. Everyone's it's, it's, got it's shit. It's how you fucking utilize it. Bro, we all feel a little gay sometimes. <laughs> I mean, struggling. Sometimes. So, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but, Everyone gets a little gay every now and then, all right? Every now like, and then? <laughs> Wait, it's not always for you? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, you know. Fuck, man. No. Oh. How long have we been going for? One thirty. damn. I actually freaked out when I didn't see that thing Tell recording you, bro, before. I was, I was like, shit no fucking way. Because I've never seen that before. Usually, it always says the time. No, I never thought I'd be the most relaxed. Did you take off the sounds? No, because... Do it. <laughs> 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 the Wars fucking edition, bro. Cool. You know what you need? The Yoda death scream. The Yoda from from Lego Star Wars. I don't. What's what that sound like? I don't even remember. I don't remember. I'm not mm. gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. Yeah, well, now we gotta know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's trying. The Yoda. I'm thinking about how I can do it. <laughs> so look, Google it up. Mm. Oh, no, what did you say it was? Duck, duck, go up, bro. No, yeah, no, duck, yeah, duck, yeah, duck, yeah. Duck, duck, go. You don't want any fucking news on there. Yeah, Just get that, the Yoda screen. They'll start yeah. selling you Yoda ads. Go, Yoda, Yoda, Lego, Star Wars, Death Scream. 
Lego. I, I, I don't. What in the new game or the old games? Old games, bro. Mm. Yeah. Yoda, I got the Yoda new game. Died. I played it for like fucking two days. Yeah. Like. I played it for a little bit. I went. I went. Yeah. The nostalgia city. <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, yeah bro. Headphone warning. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, I, I heard that all the time because you know how he used to, he was either walking really slow or he had to pop out his lightsaber and jump mm. and just constantly falling off the fucking yeah. off the <laughs> ground. <laughs> trying to rush. Yeah. That reminds me of the Triple H troll you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's when he's lifting up the fucking hammer. The sledgehammer. Oh, fucking hell. Like wrestling was actually fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was WWE. Goated, man. Bro, that Goated. shit was crazy, Back bro. Back in the day. Like, they had, uh, me, me and my mates, were, my mates were telling me about it. They were watching wrestling on Discord. Bro, they had a segment where they were trying to say that Batista raped that Melina girl. The other <laughs> wrestler. Bro, and, and she was trying to take him to court. That was like one of the skits. <laughs> that, that's how and bro back in the day like they used to have Hulk Hogan ripping up like the fucking like Pakistani flag and shit and stay like shit and just sitting shit on fire it was like, crazy they didn't bro, give bro. A I remember fuck. The, the biggest news in my school in the year four was John Cena had sex in the ring and yeah. it, <laughs> they were having a wrestling match and they just started fucking <laughs> and everybody at school ate it up like Holy shit, that's crazy. Did, yeah. It's a fucking circus, hey, yeah, none, day, of it, none of it was real. It was all just like, entertainment, bro. Buried oh. alive matches. And yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Undertaker's on, like immortal because he was in a casket and got set on fire. Mm. <laughs> Everyone was like fucking... Go all the conspiracies <laughs> from it too. Bro, it was fucking awesome. I, I remember we used to play at Dad's house. Oh, wrestling, yeah. Oh, the 2008 WWE. What is it? <laughs> bro, we played the fuck uh, out the of game, that game on, on the my, PS2. Or? My brothers love it. And um, they had the... Oh, we'll play in during COVID because I said I lived in my dad's house for three months, and um, we played two K seventeen, I think. And it, it started off. We had our old characters, and then I made a rule: you've got to make them fucking weird. So I had a gay cowboy. We had Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> we had some space guy that looked like a scrotum. <laughs> have, have, have you seen and the, the every customization? Fight, every fight was like a ten man battle royale, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, we had the championship. And my little brother Harry is fucking funniest cunt you've ever met, bro. He made this championship while I was at work. I said to him, make it weird, and I want one penis on it. So he's put a little penis on the side. <laughs> it's called the cock and ball torture. <laughs> when it comes out, it's be like, oh. So my player was Pablo. Pablo, the penis champ. <laughs> International penis. <laughs> International penis. The, the, the customization on those games is fucking awesome. You can make Insane. like fuck. You can People make the make nose like fucking Colonel Sanders. <laughs> like broccoli. You can make like a broccoli in the we guys running out in the we ring. We made a broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> we made a broccoli. <laughs> the skin's full green. What green. the fuck? He had green hair on him, green afro and shit. He was called um, broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> that was his broccoli yeah. And he was your toughest fighter too <laughs> hey, No one can beat him 99 stats He's got 99 stats He had the fucking. dirtiest 70s Fucking <laughs> And you know I could beat the broccoli bro In the ring Fuck me <laughs> dead bro That's fucking hectic man. They need to start doing that eh Bring back WWE Make it fucking stupid weird I, it, I it, love games when the customization Is just fucking what, Like you can Put the nose like they got like the mouth all the way on their forehead and <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like talking up here. Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing ones on TikTok about FIFA where they do heaven versus hell. So they mm. have like, um, they have Satan in goals, and then they got Saddam Hussein, <laughs> <laughs> Hitler, and shit on one too. Yeah, yeah. Hitler, they got all Genghis Khan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the other side, they got uh, like all the fucking saints and shit. Yeah, Jesus and fucking Mary. <laughs> Jesus. And then they got like people that have done really good shit, like that um, Gandhi. JFK <laughs> and shit. That um, the guy that cures fucking um, poor people's eyes. Fuck, he's Australian. I can't remember now. Fucking hell. He has a foundation <laughs> everywhere. But like, you yeah. got all these people that like all do. Fuck. Really good shit yeah, person, yeah. fucking Saddam Hussein. <laughs> and Satan and God. <laughs> the camera died. Oh, that's all right. Just that's right. at the end, put the little fucking thumb there. Happens every time. Yeah, man, it's fucked. How long have we gone? Uh, one for, well, almost 140, man. Is there anything else you boys wanted to cover, man? Like, fuck. I probably did have something, but I fucking... Yeah, man. Uh, uh, it yeah. happens every time. Every Bro, week. actually, you're a TikTok guy, so I wanted, I wanted to talk about this. Yeah. Um. Have you know the song? Fucking. I love. I post these videos in Discord all the time. The fucking. Now you won't let go. Have you seen that? That sound. It's a very popular sound on TikTok. Uh, what to the wallpapers and shit? Like. Yeah, and it shows like a mythical land and oh, shit. Okay, the, the, yeah, yeah. the song's called "Let Go" by Ark Patrol, right? And people always. I probably heard it. It's what, it sounds, I'm sure you recognize it. It probably. It's one of those um like 
like a stock photo sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. it's just on everything. No one knows who made it, but it's like, mm. oh, that's that TikTok song. The actual song is called Let Go by Ark Patrol and on YouTube they, they slow and reverb it and everybody says the same thing. This song gives me a weird feel. That's why I always post a Discord, like, because this song gives me such an unexplainable feeling. It, like, makes you feel nostalgic or, like, you think about space and you're floating through the stuff. It's such a calming and awesome feeling, but all the comments on the YouTube video... They're all saying the same thing. Like, this song gives you such an unexplainable feeling. Like, you can't... F- like, how do you describe what this song does to you? And it's very weird. I've never experienced any other song to do this. But it is such an awesome fucking, like... It's so... Like, I meditate with this fucking slowed reverb. That's my favourite way to meditate. Because it's fucking... It just puts you in a different world, do bro. You, it's do crazy. Like, do you like slowed down versions of songs? Not really. I, I don't. Fucking, man, I think it's like a common thing with, like, the 12-year-old. It's like... It, it's one of those trends that I've seen that's... Like stayed at the same age, and even though these kids are grown up, these kids are grown into it. Mm. Like kids, are, like my brother, he's twelve now. Harry, he fucking has slow down versions of songs all the time. No, I, I don't. And know. I was like, "What are you doing, bro? It sounds fucking terrible." <laughs> they, if they wanted to slow it down, they would have slowed it down and released it. Like it sounds it, shit. It, this isn't like a song you listen to. It's not like a proper song. It's like a. It's not like I know. Like you see those fucking. XX Tentacion fucking slowed like collages and fucking it's, it's just it's like it's like an ambient song so it's not really yeah, the right. words are like but anyway it's just it's a fucking weird feeling you'll probably know what I'm saying bro you have to really <laughs> sit there and listen to the song and then it's just immerse yourself it's fucking weird bro it, it gives you a weird feeling oh. and it's just crazy that I wanted to bring it up because all the comments on YouTube are saying the same thing. They're literally taking the words out of your mouth. Like, I'm everyone gonna feels gonna the same. To it, man. Got, it's been, weird, bro. It's fucking I've been, weird. I've been talking to Dill about this guy, man. You've got to fucking see it. <laughs> Which guy? <laughs> the Bush oh, rapper. Oh, <laughs> that guy. Oh, my TikTok, God. Bro, man, I'm telling you. The worst fucking rapper I've ever oh, He literally looks like he walks out the back of War Gamba in his Bush, like, work suit. Covers, he rolls in mud first. He's got sticks in his hair and shit. Oh, man. my God. Like, let's look at... Just click that that one there. That one there. <laughs> what the fuck? Scroll down, bro. They're all the same. Quill. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna kill you. Oh, What's with the sticks? <laughs> Well, I don't. You know what? And this is the thing I was worried about. But fuck it, who cares? I'm not worried about my TikTok profile. I followed Holy him, fuck. right? Because I wanted to keep finding him just to bring this up. And then, the as I showed Dill a few few of his videos, he followed me back. Oh, we're friends on we're friends on TikTok. Now. No, <laughs> no, no. Oh no! What, a, what an interesting. Oh, guy. he's gonna come fucking get us. That's fucking hilarious. Um, fuck. What was I gonna say? Something funny as about TikTok. Oh fuck. Oh, have you seen that kind on TikTok where he goes, um, hello, cunt. Hey, cunt. And he's saying the word oh, cunt. Yeah. And he's like, hey, cunt. Hey, well done, cunt. He's got no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just saying random shit. In the, in the fuck, and he's got thousands of fucking views and shit. Like, uh, what the fuck? And we're here making fire and we can't get 100 views yeah. on that shit. Like, what the fuck, Sorry, bro? I found my favorite one. Gonna get that handgun hands. Gonna get that full clip of bullet balls. Gonna get that one in the chamber to play handball balls. <laughs> wow <laughs> Holy fuck nah, Very interesting <laughs> <laughs> Now he's your friend on TikTok And yeah, fucking hell but what, but what is he getting at with those lyrics? <laughs> fucking Van Kling Kling I don't know who that audience is But um, it's not for me That's for sure You sure you don't want him to feature bro? Yeah, T- TJ not a, not a Imagine choice. now he signed him What's his name? <laughs> Lee Klon Kloon <laughs> Fuck that yeah, shit. Bro, we're going to sign you up, but yeah. you've got to wash out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're get not coming in the studio like get that. Get the sticks grump. out of your head. Fuck yeah, but, man. Oh. Fuck, imagine making a mad beat, right? And he just comes in, got to get that hair ball. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Nah. You get right. the fuck out, mate. Can't please. You, <laughs> fuck, man. All right, boys. Well, fuck. Just want to fucking. Yeah, we, just, could, we could wrap. Just want to wrap that shit, man? Yeah, why not? Fuck. So, okay. So, like I said before, obviously, we're going to do this again with. All four of yeah, us, with Blakey on, both the safe boys. But um, yeah, man, fuck Final Boss Deluxe. Oh yeah, has sir. its release date, boys. Seventeenth, the seventeenth, seventeenth, baby. Also dropping the instrumentals as well on the same day. Um, basically, it's Final Boss One and Two, 
together in one place because final the idea come because what final boss one got deleted yeah. right because fucking tune call tune call is fucking piece of shit but anyway so they deleted those songs so we, we thought you know fuck it re-upload number two even though it's already up fuck it re-upload it with final boss one it's and good then, to, it's good to do that too yeah. you know well, and we've got some extras so I used a different distributor f- yeah. to upload the original songs, oh, and right. then they charge you like a yearly fee for to yeah, keep well, those yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, I, and I, I, I missed the emails or the I missed like yeah. I just didn't get notified, and they just took it down because I didn't pay the fucking fee. If so now it's gone. Make the payment, they delete your but, songs. Oh right, yeah, Which yeah, yeah. I but, think it's pretty crap because the way think of it, if you release two hundred songs, and they charge it. 50 bucks or 50 something. bucks a year. To keep a song on. You times that by fucking 200, bro. What the fuck? Like, that's why Distro Kid's good because it's just <laughs> a yearly flat fee. So say yeah. what you want about Distro Kid, but that's a better yeah. formula, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I don't use something like that for our pods. I use Spreaker. Yes, so I like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, Spreaker's Same good. thing. I like Spreaker. Yeah, I put, it's only like 10 bucks a month or something. It's shit. fuck all. It's fuck all. It's like 400 hours of audio yeah. that it's, we keep on there. It's, it's heaps. And not to mention, too, the more you use Spreaker, I've now been emailed like 20 times saying that they can offer you the next level of Spreaker for like a 50% discount yeah. because you've uploaded 30 episodes or whatever. So if you just stick with one thing, they're more than likely going to give you deals. The more you use it. It makes yeah. it so easy, but Yeah. I, I, I like Spreaker. I fuck with Spreaker. Um, by Steven got us onto Spreaker. Yeah, yeah, same with the Heal My Health podcast, Sally. She uses Spreaker. So it's, it's fucking... It's, it's, it's the easiest fucking It's very, It's me. very, very fucking good. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, so uh, 17th, the instrumentals and final box, uh, final boss deluxe. Um, Jezza from the Safe Boys, bro. Thank, thank you. you for coming. Coming. Thank you for the whiskey. When, when, thank you for the yeah. lollies. When, when I get a better fucking recording set up, you're coming on. A oh, 100%. Oh, sure. It's just, it'd be oh, a bit mate. weird if like one of you is sitting on the bed. Yeah. No, on no, the no, no, I reckon that'd be <laughs> funny as fuck. There's no bro. fucking room. Bro, I'm I'll, only, it, it, trying to fucking fit the USB mics. Bro, bro. I'll fucking <laughs> bring a fucking milk crate, bro. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> bro. I reckon they'll be fucking mad, yeah, bro. Yeah, we're down, bro. We, we you know. Fuck yeah. Been a pleasure, man. It's been a great episode. Good fun, bro. Good fun. Watch the Safe Boys podcast. Um, every every Tuesday we every, upload like every Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. You, you guys are already at six, seven episodes, right? Your six next episodes, one? seven yeah. episode, the next one. They're doing it a lot quicker than we are. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're schedule, man. We're, I love being. It's great. Us. A lot shorter too. A lot easier to listen to at the gym on your way to work. Yeah. Fuck um, yeah. Yeah, man. Good shit. Yeah. And if you do check it out, man, interact with us, eh? Yeah, the comment, comment on the social. If you interact with these boys, the feedback and mm. like the small things people message you, going, love your podcast, or you want to talk about this, bro. We it's fucking live off that. Yeah, it's yeah. mad. Makes your day, we're not, man. We're not doing this for fucking, I don't know about you guys, I'm not doing this for money. Nah. I'm doing money it because exactly. I fucking love people enjoying my entertainment. Making yeah. people happy, man. So 100%, get, get into contact, fucking, when they boys put up polls, man. Fucking answer it, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah. Get all into it, bro. The more, the more you put in, the better the content. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So check the description on if you're on YouTube. Yep. We'll put all their links, man. Yep. Um, the Insta, yep. the YouTube, TikTok, all that. Bro, whatever. Yeah, the whole lot, bro. The whole lot. Um, yeah, man. All right, man. Great episode. Thank you very much, boys. Cheers. Cheers.